Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back. Two streams in one week. Been a while since that happened, huh? Hello, all of you. Good morning. So many streams, I know. Thanks for the 17 months, Nam Tams. And I should probably go ahead and thank some of the rest of you yeah. while we're here. <laughs> uh, thank you for subscribing, Nova Does Crimes. We'll forgive your crime just this once. And thank you for the 17 months, Melkroth. It's a lot of months. Goodness. Still working, so just dropping in to say hi. Well, hello. I hope the rest of the work goes all right. Thanks for seven months to you, Font of Wisdom. How am I supposed to watch your stream and watch your Final Fantasy VII playthrough at the same time? Good point. Good point. Although I guess that episode's been out for an hour now. So unless it's longer than I remember, and it might be, um, I might have given you just enough time. Nope, it's long. Um, well, no, you've had just barely enough time. <laughs> like, barely. <laughs> it's a good episode today, too. Eventful. Anyway, uh, thank you for the 16 months. Hey, Turna. Been a while since you last tuned in. Hello. It's been a while since I streamed this early in the day. We're all getting used to <laughs> and used to new experiences here. Thank you for 17 months, Scruff Fluff. I too am shocked. Hey, yeah, some of y'all might have noticed, those of you who are subscribed, we've got a new emote or two in the bin. Available for use, and I suspect we will get a decent amount of use out of it. <laughs> That's the one. Very good. Many thanks to Dan Jones for whipping that up literally in the middle of last stream. <laughs> also, thank you, Frizzoder is, for four months. Daytime bonanza, indeed. And now there's more of you. Goodness. <laughs> but welcome. And we'll switch over to this, and I think the music will keep going. Yes, good. Okay. Well, I continue thanking some of you. Lovely having you all here. Dan Jones is the best. I concur. Thank you for 17 months, Pistol Whip. And also, Choa Kid. I was just watching the part one VOD when this popped up. <laughs> That's true, the VOD for that did just go up like a couple hours ago. Thank you, Louis Hansen, for 17 months as well. Gotta catch those months. The satchel character in Backpack Hero is hard. Thanks for featuring it. Dan, I'm having a blast. More enjoyable than STS. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've, I didn't get any further on my own time on Backpack Hero than uh, what I did on Playframe, but uh, I enjoyed what I played a lot. If there weren't so many other games competing for attention, I expect I could fall into that for a little while there. Finally caught up to Strangers of Paradise last night. Wanted to confirm, yes, the dimensions do correspond to Final Fantasy games. Uh, how do you like the Master Tonberry side mission from uh, 13 World? That was pretty fun. Yeah, Dan and I uh, ran through that super quick, I think. Uh, I can't remember when we did that one, but we did run through it really quick. It was a good time. It's a re it, Boy, that's an easy world to get lost in. I guess a lot of them kind of are when you're only half paying attention and just goofing off with a friend, but... <laughs> Glad you're enjoying, though. We are enjoying as well. Thank you, Znackerfin, for 14 months. Thank you, Vendraland, for four months in a row. Five months total. And thank you, Valbatross, for 17 months. I can't believe how many of you have been subscribed for 17 dang months. I don't know what Pokemon Gray is, but it has to be easier on my brain than writing shader code, right? 
I assume most things must be. Shader code, to me as a non-programmer or technical artist, seems like no simple thing. Honestly, if it wasn't for Ace Rolla's very good YouTube channel, I would understand a tiny fraction as much about shaders and how graphics programming works like as I do, and I barely understand anything. Are we doing rare candy cheese? I don't think so. I don't think it'll be necessary. This is day one. I'm also a non-programmer. Well, <laughs> still puts you ahead of me. <laughs> But Godspeed, what, what's, what's got you shader programming for the first time today? I'm curious. Thank you for the 17 months as well, Rogue Link. And uh, also, thank you for five months, Lord Zine. It's a fun name. Hello, humans, friends, and others. <laughs> it's a good greeting. I like it. Are we talking about shader code in here? <laughs> Ace Rolla's Game Jam starts in six days and I want to participate, but it's solo. That's good. It's cool that it, uh, <laughs> the one person on the internet who talks about graphics programming that I'm aware of, that their Game Jam is the one that you're doing this for. I guess there's not a lot of people talking about graphics programming on YouTube at the end of the day. But Ace Rolla's gotta be in the top three. <laughs> Welcome, all of you. And good morning. So where we left off, all right, I think we're I think we're good with the uh, hype Pokemon upbeat music to wake us up. I think we're ready to shift on over. Here we go. Get the uh, <laughs> game tunes going. We left off in Cerulean City. We have two badges now. I guess I could have just showed you this. That kind of says the same thing, but on screen. Welcome back to Pokemon Gray. What a good old time. Hmm, moment, almost forgot to open up my little recording software thing here too. Gotta have that open. What happens if I want footage for a thing? What is Pokemon Gray? It's, I mean, it's literally, it's just Pokemon Blue, or Red and Blue in this case. It's just Pokemon Red and Blue came out on the Game Boy, and uh, it's only in black and white. It wasn't until Pokemon Yellow that uh, <laughs> we got some eye-popping colors in these graphics. Someone remind me, because uh, I didn't, I, it's been too long. The Game Boy Color, uh, Game Boy, original Game Boy games were compatible with the Game Boy Color. If you put red or blue into a Game Boy Color, would it apply, like, a color palette to that? Would it apply, like, a blue or red palette to that across the board? It does. Right. I thought that was the case. That's pretty cool. Palette's a strong word. Yeah, that's <laughs> fair point. But it's, I mean, it's slightly more palette than what we have here. And also at the same time, a thousand percent more palette than what we have here. We're not even in Palette Town. That's literally the one amount of palette we could possibly potentially have going for us. But nope, we're in quote unquote Cerulean, as you can visibly tell. I think it literally just did click with me. Like, I always knew that all these early Gen 1 towns were named after colors. I don't think it had clicked with me that the town you start in is Palette Town, like a color palette. That's very cute. I don't know why that didn't register with me <laughs> until now. That's super cute. Oh, we don't have a nice little frame going on here. Hang on. I can, I can fix this. There we go. That's a little better. It's a little nicer, right? When the game started, you could input something to apply 1 to 16 color, quote-unquote, palettes. <laughs> that, that makes sense. 
That is really cool too. What a cool little feature. But yeah, once we get up to Pokemon Yellow, it'll be 95% the exact same game as this, but we'll have some colors going. And that'll be nice. Crystal was one of the ones that didn't work on anything less than a Game Boy Color. Funnily enough, it used to be a gold Pokemon Gold frame. Oh, cool. Anyway, yes, I don't think we've gone up here yet. Let's, here, let's go over our crew. So, we've got, by the way, we're gonna keep on doing nicknames in blue. I think once I get to yellow, I'm gonna try not nicknaming the Pokemon. Uh, Cause looking back over the footage afterwards, I kind of decide that, you know, for footage sake, it will be, it would be really nice having this be nice and clean. And I don't wanna have to get to, a, I don't wanna get to a point where I'm deciding to work on a Pokemon video and I start putting this footage in and I realize later, oh, I really shouldn't have put nicknames in cause I don't have to go back and re-record things. We can still nickname them. We'll just keep the names in game their default. And that'll help me also learn Pokemon names. Cause boy, I got a lot of those to learn. Anyway, uh, so we have got Watson, our luckiest Pikachu in the world. Literally the first encounter in Viridian Forest we had was a Pikachu, which is a 4% chance. That's bonkers. And then we saw another one. They, the woods were throwing so many Pikachus at me, I was just throwing them away. Anyway, this is Watson. Watson just got us through the Misty Fights. Actually, no. Watson didn't get through to the end of the Misty Fights. Watson, Watson fell in battle to a very brutal Stormy. As did our uh, other, one of our other mainliners here, Grubbles. D no, don't switch. Sorry. Stats. Grubbles, our Butterfree, who knows Confuse and is unstoppable. Except for Stormies. Stormies specifically are its elemental weakness. And uh, then there is our starter here, who, in a real clutch victory, defeated that wrecking ball of a Starmie with a single hit point left. Bubs. Who's doing good work. We've also got kind of our, like, backup dancers here. Pebbles the Geodude with that good Gen 1 pompadour and hit the bricks kid thumb gesture. We might keep Pebbles going. Pebbles might be what gets us through the next gym, assuming we don't see a Diglett we like. We got Ziggy, the Zubat, who I will be honest, is not going to be staying in our lineup for long. I've seen enough Zubats for a lifetime. And finally, we have Cordy, a late addition, the Paris. Also may not stay with us long, but we don't have another grass type, so... We'll see how it goes. Full credit, almost entirely, to chat from last stream for some of these very good nicknames. We do need to still keep coming up with nicknames for our buddies when we catch them, even if we don't officially name them that in-game. We'll have to keep a record. Is this place through for research or fun? A bit of both. I want... So to kind of like briefly explain what I uh, sort of said last stream, I eventually want to make some videos or maybe one big video, I'm not sure, about the animation in Pokemon games, especially since like that topic comes up in popular gamer conversation a lot. It's kind of an evergreen topic. Uh, but to do that, I'm going to need a lot of footage from a lot of gens. And also I just need more familiarity with these games because I've only beaten Yellow and Sword and the rest I've only like dipped a toe into at most. So there's a lot of gaps in my knowledge that I want to fill in. So I want to experience Pokemon while also capturing a bunch of footage that I can use in videos later. I don't know if we're going to play all the way through all of these because it's a lot of long games, especially since I'm going to need footage of like this, but also Pokemon Yellow, which is almost the same game. I'm going to need footage of Pokemon Gold or Silver, but also Crystal, which is almost the same game. So like, uh, like we're so I may not play through the entirety of I want to play through the entirety of at least one entry from each gen we may stop a little bit earlier on one of them though so I like I don't think I'm going to finish blue I'll play through several gyms 
until like I've at least gotten a bike and like a fishing rod and other sorts of stuff that has more unique animation in it, and then switch over to yellow. Yeah, and Crystal lets you play as a girl too. We'll definitely have to do that. That'll be fun. Mix it up. Am I playing this on a Game Boy or 3DS? No, th this is emulation. Uh, I, for footage purposes, I find that eight and like 16-bit console stuff is just way easier to get decent signal and decent uh, quality just via emulation and that's simpler. Once we get to the DS entries, then I am going to be capturing off of an actual DS. Or 3DS, rather. And same, obviously, for once we get up to Switch era, but <laughs> that's some time away, isn't it? Anyway. Let's start hiking. There's something up here that I don't remember. Oh, and also you. Yo, Dan! You still struggling along back here? Yeah, you don't have to say it out loud. I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon <laughs> who are cool and my best friends. <laughs> here, let me see what you caught, Dan. Blue wants to fight. Hey, look at you. You might actually give me some trouble here. We'll see. It's possible. Well, that's one. Good job, Watson. Would it uh, perhaps help to record Game Boy Advance Pokemon games from an original DS? Maybe, but those, like, I feel pretty confident in emulation, in, like emulators being able to play advanced GBA stuff back accurately. It's once you get to DS stuff that I start getting less confident. How did this punk get lucky enough to catch an Abra? I want an Abra. Um, I'm gonna change. I don't remember what his Abra can do. Bubs, you're strong. Hit it. Give it a bath. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, yeah, yeah, DS input methods don't translate well to emulation options either. Like, I've tried, and I've, like, worked with other folks who are really good at capturing footage to see, like, what kind of options there are for emulation, and they're just... There's just always something a little weird with the uh, display or the rendering of something. There's just always little glitches that are not accurate to how the original game looked. And especially when I'm critiquing the animation in old games, like I want, I want the footage to be high quality, but I also really want it to be accurate to how the game actually looked or else I'm not judging how the animation in the game looked. That's why I was, like, so insistent on buying a Dreamcast and copies of Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 when doing that Sonic video, because I know original Sonic Adventure looks different than the uh, the ports the, that came out on other consoles later, and I wanted to make sure I'm judging the original thing in its original context, right? All right. Uh, Ziggy, you're a little low level, but you might be able to do this. The time zones have aligned again. Because welcome. Oh, I just swapped to a Ziggy. Wait, I, sorry. I thought I was swapping to Pebbles. Ziggy, you are not equipped for this whatsoever. Ziggy, this would... You would be destroyed. But I don't like Sonic. No, I don't really. Well, I have mixed feelings about Sonic, but I... If I'm going to be judging Sonic and the work of hundreds of people who have been creating Sonic games, I want to judge it. I want to do my due diligence. As a researcher and analyst. Ooh, boy, Pebbles. All right, Pebbles, you're, you're taking one for the team here. But it's okay. 
you will be feeding some free experience to, let's say, Grubbles. Grubbles could probably use it. Confuse the rat. Speaking of Sonic, have I seen the trailer for the new game of the team that made Sonic Mania? I did see bits and pieces of it. That game's out now, isn't it? Did it, did it just come out like yesterday? Right, Bulbasaur, your starter. I almost forgot. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We'll stick with this. It's really fun. I need to check it out. Very curious to see. While we're briefly on the the topic of Sonic, I received a very sweet message recently from one of the folks who like animated on Sonic Dream Team, like saying how that like they the Sonic video was helpful for them and sort of like uh, establishing like a uh, targets for like like quality and stuff like that things that they wanted to try to pull off and do and that's like that it was incredibly flattering but also like just like what an honor <laughs> like i may not be a sonic fan but the fact that my that video gets used like i that i've heard from people on both the teams of like sonic games and sonic tv and films saying that that video is used like internally by their teams regularly is like, the most flattering thing. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's, hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC. Since you're using his system, go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. You're all right, Blue. Kind of obnoxious, but... You're all right. Unlike a couple of my Pokemon who are not all right. Let's go give them a quick rest. I do recommend checking out Sonic Dream Team uh, if you have access to it. I think it's only on Apple Arcade. I'm sure that'll change eventually, but... I think both they and the Sonic Superstars team did a good job of, like, working within smaller scope and doing really solid animation work. Uh, like, and on a less ambitious or overly ambitious sort of thing working within the resources they had. I think they both did a good job. Okay, let's start covering this here bridge. Who do we need to start getting? I guess we should probably start investing a little bit in Pebbles' future here in case we don't find a Diglett we like. For that next gem, right? This is Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes. Have I watched the Sonic Prime show on Netflix? I've watched the first season of it. And that's also really good. I think that the uh, Sonic Prime show is like a really good demonstration of how to make this modern day Sonic design expressive and look good. Animating for film and TV is a whole different beast than animating for games, so it's not, like, it's not a one-to-one -one compare. it's not a fair one-to-one -one comparison, but still, it's a good reference point. I've, I've also, like, I don't know if he's still on it, the director, the animation director on that show is somebody I know, like, I've worked with before. I don't know if John Mead is still on that team or on that project, but, uh, he's phenomenal. There's an old Pixar animator guy. Uh, I wasn't paying enough attention to what's coming out next. Grubbles, you got this, right? Probably. You'll probably get poisoned, though. That'll be no fun. Pebbles. 
I believe. But yeah, Sonic Prime is entertaining. I'm told the follow-up seasons are also good. Ow. Tackle the bug. Why do the back view sprites for your Pokemon in battle look so much more awkward and hard to read? Are the Pokemon's designs just not designed for rear view readability? Like the front view sprites are so clear in comparison. It's a good question. Let's, you know, let's think on that for a bit. Let's see if we can come up with a hypothesis for why the back view sprites are frequently so much like less appealing and less clear because they really are. Are they never updated the back sprites? Well, like, sure, but, like, this is the first, like, this was the first place the back sprites showed up. This is where, like, the this is the first incarnation of the back sprites at this point. Uh, I guess his memory limitation seems the back view has way fewer pixels. It does seem like, yeah, like, the sprite for the rear sprite is more zoomed in, almost. Like, um... Like, the individual pixel size for the Pidgey there is half the size of the pixels on uh, Pebbles here. So it is like it is a smaller sprite that has been scaled up. I don't really know if the Game Boy could do that. Like, double scaling of that sort. But that is probably, like, a good guess. I guess this is, that is a fair point. Pokemon Blue and Red that we got here in the States are not ex exactly the same as the Pokemon Red and Green originally released in Japan, so... That is a fair point. So this is sort of a second version of the game. I do wonder, though. Uh, let's not change for now. Yeah, it's got to be the resolution thing. Like, whether they did it to save on space, uh, on memory, or whether they did it to make the Pokemon on your side of the screen look like they are closer to, like, closer to camera, almost creating a sense of perspective slightly. Which I could see that being the case, too. Like, the pixels being larger makes it seem like, oh, this is an object which is closer to camera. Ideally, then, they would also make the Pokemon large sprite larger. <laughs> I'm guessing it is more a memory thing. It also makes it look slightly more out of focus in a way, right? Like, not, like, not actually depth of field, but slightly more so. Slightly less clarity. That's probably not, like, the intent. That's probably just uh, a neat side effect of the choice. But it uh, it does make them have less detail and draw your eye slightly less. And that probably is an artistic, like, artistically intentional. Let's go heal up real quick. It is really fun to try to learn just enough about how the hardware and graphics for retro consoles worked to try to guess at, like, artistic intent with early choices. Because the complexity is so much relatively simpler compared to modern video game, uh, video game hardware and graphics and stuff like that, that... There's fewer factors to account for, and you can kind of try to make some hypotheses and guesses, and I don't know, it's fun, I think. Here's number three! I won't be easy! Hello, child. 
Darn, the youngster sprite is very good. I'll see your screaming rat and raise you a pompadour rock. By the way, just so I don't fall further and further behind, like 25 minutes ago, Rogue Link, thank you for resubscribing. 17 darn months, thank you very much. Lord Z, actually I thank you too. But I almost missed Shutaro. Thank you for the 17 months. And yeah, enjoy that new shock emote. <laughs> hey, y'all tell me what more, what, what sorts of emotes do we still need here? Because it's definitely some, and I'm trying to like actually keep a list now. Some folks mentioned last stream, uh, Fish being a good one. I don't know what that one would look like. Maybe just sort of like a cat carry. <laughs> uh, but I do feel like we got some gaps in our emote list. There's a good video by Retro Game Mechanics explained on how Pokemon sprites worked, especially the missing the missing no glitch. Y'all, check check out Retro Game Mechanics explained sometime if you haven't before. Very good channel. It's pro like it definitely some of it will definitely go over your head in them explaining kind of like the uh, way that old video game graphics worked, but their their motion graphic stuff is so good. It's a fantastic channel. Highly recommend. Gotta love rap. What a, what a fun, what a fun move. <laughs> Ekans is just like, if I can't have fun, no one will have fun. <laughs> Did I use the universal randomizer to change impossible evolutions? No. No, but in fairness, I don't know what either of those things are. <laughs> what are either of those things? It's fun streaming in the morning. I'm much more awake. <laughs> An emote for celebrating bad puns. Mmm. Pun reaction is a good, that's a good choice. Oh, it changes trade evolutions to levels. Oh, that's a cool idea. I like that. I might, I might look into that for when we uh, start with like uh, Pokemon Yellow. I didn't know that existed, but I, now that I think about it, of course it does. Why no VOD archive? Now that I think of it? Oh, we do have a VOD archive. Or is that, are you talking like an emote? Like a VOD archive emote? Is that a thing? I am something of a Twitch noob. Don't let the 17 months fool you. I don't know what I'm doing. Coffee or tea emote? We do have a coffee emote, sort of. We have, or we have caffeinated carry, which sort of fills that role. Some kind of dance emote. Dance would be good. I like dance. For good jams. Nidoran. Let's confuse the Nidoran. The Dan wins emote. It's like, that's a good idea. I'm actually surprised we didn't uh, do that already. Okay, so, Akaitana, I don't know, like, practically what need we would have for an emote with carry with a knife, but the name AD Carry is extremely good. <laughs> if we did need that emote, that is a phenomenal name for it. 
I applaud you. Sleep powder. Hmm. All right, Poke Pokemon people. You know who you are. Is do I want to keep stun powder or sleep powder on this butterfly? Sleep in Gen 1 is broken. <laughs> Good to know. Sleep it is. So glad y'all are here and that you know these things. Drop poison or tackle. I will, yeah, I will replace poison or tackle with whatever the next move is. Probably. Unless the next move sucks. Okay, I'm number five. I'll stop you. Oh, by the way, true unnamed toaster. Thank you for the two months. We need an emote to celebrate bad puns. Yeah, that's that is a, a pun reaction. A hundred percent yes. Uh, look at that manky. That's honestly cuter than most mankeys. Pebbles, this is not a good matchup. Kind of amazing Pokemon caught on so well considering how many things were entirely broken in this game. Yeah, it, like it's definitely it is definitely a much rougher experience. Although, like, we we call Gen 1 broken a lot. I think we kind of exaggerate. Like, it is very abusable, and there's definitely lots of systems and moves and things that are there's lots of more, more bugs and glitches than most Pokemon games have in the mechanics of it. But like none of that brokenness really breaks the experience of it. It's really a brokenness that you only recognize after you've gotten to know it very well and realize like oh wow some of these things were definitely very imbalanced but like the core experience is like so strong and like none of the little problems or balance issues in any way inhibit that congratulations you beat our five contest trainers you just earned a fabulous prize a nugget by the way would you like to join team rocket we're a group dedicated to evil <laughs> using Pokemon. <laughs> I kind of like that they're so upfront about it. Do you want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Team Rocket is very charming. <laughs> even as depicted just here in this game, without any Jesse or James or Meowth or any of that nonsense. There's still a pretty fun, silly time. By the way, I, I, boy, I, I'm falling too far behind on these. I need to keep up. Thank you, Kaliguru, for 11 months. Hello. Thank you for the two months, Katasros. I swear the confidence of the kids in this game is insane. It won't save them from getting stomped, though. A hundred percent true. <laughs> And thank you for the 17 months, Cortain. Poison my butterfly, how dare. <laughs> it didn't remember that the generic rocket goon had a whip in this sprite. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? <laughs> Why the whip? Like, you know that story about how, like, so much of early heavy metal fashion and style, like, was influenced by Judas Priest. Like, all of the leather and, like, spiked, like, spiked bracelets, like, all that sort of stuff was influenced by the lead singer of Judas Priest adopting that style and going on stage. And he, like, <laughs> and he, I believe, was gay, and I don't think that, like, his even the rest of his band knew, but, like, he was bringing all that stuff over from just sort of, like, BDSM and bondage gear type stuff. That's where he had kind of brought it in, and it influenced the entire genre <laughs> of fashion 
in that era, which is amazing. It feels like, looking at the style of, of like, Team Rocket here, I feel like a similar origin story. Judas Priest rules, by the way. <laughs> Extremely metal band. With your ability, you can become a top leader in Team Rocket. I know. Goodbye. Oh, I'm poisoned. Right. I should fix this. I don't think I have a... I don't have an antidote on me. Maybe I should go remedy this. Sorry about the flash in the meantime. Any thoughts on Helldivers 2, including the launch situation as someone who works in games? I've not gotten to try Helldivers 2, nor do I know anything about the launch situation. I'm out of the loop. Oh, the whip is probably for the Pokemon, isn't it? That makes more sense. The servers for Helldivers are overloaded by like a factor of 10. Oh, I see. That's like unfortunate for like the early player experience, but honestly, congrats to them. That's a good problem to have. <laughs> good for them. It's always really hard to like guess at that, right? Because like servers are expensive. You only want to like, you, you can try to do your best to guess at what the capacity you're going to need is. But if your game just suddenly like does way better than expected, ramp it, it's hard to ramp up super quickly to account for that, to uh, address that. And also, like, you never know, it could be that that surge you're getting is only going to last a week and then suddenly you're down, like, down to way lower numbers and you now have you are spending a lot of money <laughs> on servers that are just empty. Tricky thing to figure out, especially if you're a smaller team. But good for them. And I'm sure it will get sorted out. It always does, over time. Uh, what more do I... I should check my inventory, because I feel like I am lacking in some items here. Another potion, not a bad idea. More Pokeballs, for sure. Is there a way to sort inventory in this game? Probably not. But boy, that'd be nice. No, of course not. Well, it's a Game Boy. We could be lenient. You select to swap by. Oh, that's... Yay. Okay, good. At least there's that. I'm going to buy a repeller, too, just in case. So, yeah, I assume by its popularity that new Helldivers must be pretty darn fun. It seems quite different, like a, like a pretty different uh, design and approach than the original game had, which is like much more of a top-down shooter type thing, which was also a really fun idea. I should probably look into it. What's it? What does it feel most like? Most similar to as a game experience, just like as a frame of reference. Starship Troopers, but a game. Yeah, that's definitely the vibes the trailers were giving, which is fine. Not my, like, a uh, Like, Starship Troopers is a good movie. It's just not like that's not a setting and vibe that I would live in for fun. But if, if the game's fun, I'm that's fine. I'm down for it. Kind of left for dead-like. Okay, yeah, I can see that.
EDF with more polish. Yeah, that makes that makes sense too. Which, hey, I love me a good EDF. That's probably there. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Deep Rock Galactic be a good comparison? Yeah, that, that seems like that would be a good comparison, too. It's, is, are you actually, like, dropping in and trying to do a variety of objectives, or is it mostly just about, like, survive and, and clear out waves? I guess I can, it's easy for, enough for me to go find this out. <laughs> I would store the TMs for now in the Moonstone. Right, storage, that's a thing I can do. Thank you for the reminder. It's a great idea, I'm gonna go do that. Looter shooter with objectives. I need to check it out. I bet I'd have a good time. I've never really had like a regular multiplayer gaming group, <clears throat> which makes certain games like that a good bit harder. It's the same reason I've not actually tried out Lethal Company yet, even though it looks great. Yeah, my voice. <laughs> Excuse me. Every now and then get like a little bit of like a slight chest congestion bit or something that makes my voice sound all like bleh. <laughs> uh, ba -ba -ba. Let us deposit some items I don't want. Like you. And you. I guess now's a good time to play multiplayer games with buddies. I have a bit more free time currently. I'm gonna take advantage. Sip on some tea. I'll have to make some tea. I'll make some tea later on. I do have water here for now, but yeah, later on I'll do a quick like tea making break or something. There we are. Slightly more organized. Thank you for the hydrate reminder. <laughs> and the stretch. Good reminder for all of us. What sort of tea am I into? I'm honestly not much of a fan of tea, just like, like I don't drink tea on the regular, just as a beverage. Uh, but I do drink it regularly to kind of help soothe the voice when recording things or streaming for a long time. And in those times, my go-to is Earl Grey with a lot of honey and lemon in it. So the Earl Grey is Really, it could just be water with honey and lemon in it. The Earl Grey just kind of suits it nicely. Is there anything different in this grass? Oh, there's you. Hello. I saw your feet from the grass. Thank you. This grass could have Abra, ooh. Guess I don't really need one, but I would take one. Well, Lirdu, I'm also not like a huge coffee fan either. Like, I enjoy it well enough more as a like a comfy, warm thing to drink in the morning, kind of as ritual. I love the smell of it. Taste of it is whatever.
thoughts on random encounters in Pokemon where the places they happen are clearly indicated. It is kind of nice having it be... Uh, usually, at least. It's really nice that you can opt into random encounters with Pokemon or that, like, you know, so long as you can stay out of the grass, you can avoid those random encounters. Like, I enjoy walking along a route in Pokemon, picking and choosing when I'm wandering in the grass, as opposed to going through a cave where I could get attacked anywhere. That's much less fun. I would be down for more old RPGs with random encounters being that way. Get him, Pebbles. That's one of the reasons you like the Bravely games, being able to say, okay, I'm done with fights and just turning them off is fantastic. Yeah, I... I appreciate that modern releases that are borrowing all the trappings of old JRPGs are often still trying to make some concessions to the fact that random encounters just really aren't that fun at the end of the day most of the time. Or there's, there's more fun alternatives. So I appreciate when they give the player some control over some knobs to turn to make that experience a little better. Come on, pebbles, don't lose to a bird. Eh, I'm not gonna go wandering around in this grass for ages. We got progress to make. Didn't realize there are even more trainers up here. I just got down from Mount Moon, but I'm ready. You ever think Pokemon's popular because it gives us some place to vent the aggression part of cuteness aggression? <laughs> I'm guessing that's not... Look at that much up. Wow. I'm guessing that's not really a core part of the appeal. Certainly not the main pillar that makes Pokemon work for folks, but... I could see it having that sort of appeal. Uh, even more so the like the longer the series has gone on and the more detail we're able to render that cuteness in. But yeah, I suspect more people are drawn to sort of like the uh, like the kind of the opposite thing, the connecting like with the collecting and connecting with your uh, little buddies. Uh, get him, bubs. Our team looking? Should I be? It's a bit of a hike back. Eh. We can hang in there for one more. Local trainers come here to practice. All you kids with your rats.
Wow, good hit. Boy, I love that noise, huh? Thank you, game. I do remember that I have low HP. I can see it right there on my HP bar. Just so we don't have to hear that noise anymore, let's... scoot back to town real quick, like. Excited for me to get to Gen 5's low HP choice. Ooh, boy. I'm worried. I think Gen 5 might be one of the few that I've, like, not touched at all. Is it okay to ask what led to streaming Pokemon? Footage or exper experience for a video or just for fun? Both. Both things. I, like, Pokemon games, a lot of them anyway, have been sort of a gap in my play history for a long time. And I want to make videos about them in the future, for which I will need much footage. And there's a lot of them, so we'll probably be doing a lot of Pokemon around here. And I'm, I'm excited to, in going through them gen by gen, and kind of experiencing the full history in an accelerated way, I am looking forward to seeing which ones end up feeling like high points to me. Like, which ones end up being favorites. This is a question that extends to Final Fantasy. I know you're playing 7 again for footage because of Rebirth, but does this extend to the later games for an animation series? Uh, so like, I have... For the Final Fantasy animation series, I have already gone and gotten most of the footage I need for all of them. I did that before even starting to make the first video. There are some of them that I will need more footage of, though, and some of them that I, like the Super Nintendo era, I've had to go back and re-record because I, like, I sort of realized later that I'd, with the, like, uh, bilinear filtering I'd left on for the Super Nintendo footage, it really made it feel out of place next to the footage I had for the previous and later generations of games, so I've uh, been re-recording those. And I'll probably go back and get more footage for most all of them as I get to working on those individual videos, but I've got a full playthrough of each, and from 7 onward, that should help accelerate the footage capture phase, at least. I can never remember if Slowpoke is water or not. I guess we'll find out. Must be Water Psychic. I thought so. Getting some good levels here, though. There's so many trainers up here. This is just the PvP hub. Hi, my boyfriend is cool. And really, really real. I don't know that I trust someone who comes out and says with it in sentence two. 
insists that their significant other that they have is awesome. <laughs> X to doubt. No, Grebbles, don't be poisoned. Well, I guess you're already poisoned. Can't get double poisoned. Do I have a favorite Pokemon sprite from Gen 1? Hmm. There have been a lot of good ones. I was in bad condition. Sure. Gen 1 Pikachu is very cute. Like, that's, that's kind of what's fun about Gen 1, even though a lot of them would be considered off-model now. A lot of times it's in very fun ways. I think Sandshrew is, like, extremely cute, even in this early form. Geodudes. But, like, this is a very odd-looking Geodude. It's got charm, but... <laughs> Yeah, it's got, it definitely got greaser energy, these Geodudes. Ah, oh, Evans, hello. Actually, stay out here, bubs. Keep giving these Geodudes baths. Until we win. Machop. Send in the butterfly. Very good. Sticking with kind of this core team of four is really working for us. We do have some gaps in our type advantage lineup, but for now, we're making it work. Keep them coming. I'm a cool guy. I got a girlfriend. <laughs> Again. I doubt. I'm throwing rocks at your rat. I do look forward to getting to later gens when they are able to give more helpful information on screen. Like move accuracy, move effectiveness, typing, stuff like that. It's helpful when you're still learning. But that's all right. We'll hang in there, and we'll get there eventually.
Yeah, the Ekans sprite is lacking somewhat in this entry. Ha 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 ha, give. Like later Pokemon games would tell me what that TM is. But here, I'll never know. I knew I had to fight you. What a doofy little snake. I love the youngsters too. Youngsters are easily one of my favorite Gen 1 trainer sprites. Sand Shrew, eh? Grubbles could probably still do it, but Bubs, you go ahead. See, look at that cute little Sand Shrew. A plus Game Boy Sprite. I knew I'd lose too. <laughs> Everything is playing out as I have foreseen. I'm like five steps ahead of all of you, just not in a way that prevents me from losing. My friend has a cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. Your Pokemon are right here. Rude. You got a pretty cute little Oddish there with hurt feelings. You also love how Pokemon have the type-based generic sprite in the menu. It's a neat way to save to save memory. It's a good approach. Like even when it doesn't visually match super well. It's a solid enough efficiency measure. I'd not really like registered that there was a uh, like a type difference. I guess it isn't always. Like this is the sprite they're using for. Pebbles the Geodude, but also Ziggy the Zubat, and in both cases, not even close. <laughs> so, like, body type, not elemental type. Even body type. <laughs> A little debatable. But they've got few options to work with, I'll allow it. Look at this grumpy little bird. Always a sucker for a tiny, grouchy-looking bird. It's going to be neat going through generations as well to kind of, like, get familiar, like, get introduced to newer mechanics more slowly. Because, like, jumping from Gen 1 to Gen 8, like I effectively did. See, Cottage Bill lives here. All right. Uh, doing that effectively means that, like, I then had, like, 20 years of Pokemon mechanics to get onboarded with very quickly. Hiya, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. 
Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey! What's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here? Sure. When I'm in the teleporter, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. This feels like a lot of responsibility for a 10-year-old or whatever I am. Dan initiated teleporter cell separator. Oh, good. Yeehaw! Thanks, bud. I owe you one. So, did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't. That's a bummer. <laughs> I've got to thank you. Oh, here. Maybe this will do. An SS ticket. That cruise ship SS Anne is in Vermilion City. Its passengers are all trainers. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dues. Why don't you go and instead of me? Sure. Love me a good fancy do. Anything else cool on your computer? Teleporter is displayed on the PC monitor. Okay. Well, bye. What's over here? Nothing. Back to town. Oh, can I talk to Bill again now? Like, after walking outside? Billiam? Look, bud, just check out some of my rare Pokemon on my PC. Oh, can I do that now? Bill's favorite Pokemon list. Cool. Eevee. Flareon. Jolteon. And Vaporeon. Good times. <laughs> you are welcome. I didn't know that was a thing. Which shouldn't come as a surprise. I don't know. Most things are things in Pokemon. But still. Oh, wait. I can go in here now, can't I? The people here were robbed. It's obvious the Team Rocket is behind this most heinous crime. I should go heal up first. That's right. There's rockets back there. Okay. To war. When can you get a bike? I don't remember where you get the bike. This is very cute sprite art for a robbed house. Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no good. <laughs> I appreciate that despite the circumstances, you're still here for some wordplay. Those miserable rockets. Look what they did here. They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. That cost me a bundle, it did. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Anyway, let's fight. Such a doofy Machop. Yeah, just because this guy has a whip and is standing in someone's ransacked backyard. Everyone suddenly got to look at him funny.
A drowsy, that's new. Uh, and psychic. Can't remember, is psychic good against psychic? I think. Probably no. No. We will switch. To something. Not really sure what. Watson may be fine. Bubs may be fine. You can do it, pups. Sturdy fella. And also, ow. Yeah, Psychic really is kind of out of control <laughs> in Gen 1. But I can't get too mad about it because I use it to my advantage most of the time. So I can't get too mad when it gets turned against me. Hey, level 20, congrats, bubs. Hey, thanks for the gifted sub there, Kaloguru. It is true. It is true, Dan. I did power level butterfly for that express purpose of abusing... ...this balance flaw in the system. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. I better get moving. Bye! Do they even let you give it back? I'm sure they don't. I figure what's lost is lost. I decided to teach Diglett how to dig without a TM. Oh. Well, good. It's mine now. Good luck with your house. Hello, Night Valian. EU time, friends. Thank you for the early stream. You're very welcome. Yeah, I will... For the foreseeable future, I will aim to be doing earlier streams on Thursdays. Tuesdays I will stream, but... Still starting, like, earlier than I... Usually have been on, like, Wednesday streams, but still later. Do I think I'll make a playthrough of Kingdom Hearts Missing Link even though it'll be on mobile? It being on mobile's not the problem, like I've done mo a couple of mobile games already. The problem is it it will depend on the format of the game. It being a alternate reality game that is that involves traveling and walking around makes that makes playing it kind of impossible. Both because like in order to be recording, I need to be here in this recording room and can't be traveling around. Also, uh, I don't feel like doxing myself. <laughs> So we'll have to see. I will figure out some way to at least feature the story somehow, even if that means like playing, hopefully it has a theater mode or something and so I can like play through stuff and then include the video. I don't know, we'll have to see. If you can play it without the AR stuff then, or without it showing your location, then great. If you can't play it without moving around, uh, that'll be a, an issue. We'll see. We'll try to figure out something, though. Um, where is this leading? Is this leading kind of... Oh. Do we have, like, two route options right now? I don't want trainer tips. I want to... I want directions. I guess I have a town map, don't I? It's kind of what it's for. So, we are here. Well, power plant is this way. Diglett's cave down here. Pewter City. Route 3, Mount Moon, Route 4, Cerulean City. 
Just went up there, up to the sea cottage. Route five, route six. Vermilion City's down here. And the SSA, so we need to be heading south generally. Okay. Route nine, rock tunnel and route 10. Lavender Town, that, you do that much later, right? Yeah. Celadon City, Saffron City, okay. Yeah, we should be heading south generally. What's stopping us from going east, though? I wonder. Is it a Snorlax? Or just some other obstruction? Oh. We don't have cut yet. Well, that answers that. Southward! Hmm. Maybe I should be going that way. It does have grass. Might have something neat. I've had a grass. Got anything neat? Anything that I would particularly want? Grass? Okay, this grass is empty. Next patch of grass. Grass, you got anything? There we go. Ah, that's something. A bell sprout. Level 13. That could give us a little bit of grass type coverage for a bit. Ouch, but not very much. Tackle! No, don't do that. Nobody likes that, Bellsprout. Boy. Just having a good old time. I've been replaying Final Fantasy VII Remake while watching your OG Final Fantasy VII playthrough. It's fun uh, comparing what got changed, added, and cut. I'm at the start of the sewers after Corneo, so like episode four of the series, an hour, what, 15 on my playthrough? <laughs> yeah, it is. It is neat how much they have, they added. Like, it does hinder pacing in places. I don't think all the additions in 7 Remake are good, but most all of what they fleshed out, I think, is, like, solid at the very least. Sometimes are sometimes those improvements are great. We're starting to see some early, like, like, a uh, critical response to uh, Rebirth and the reviewers who have early copies of that, and it's, I'm seeing a lot of positive things. I'm excited. Can't wait. All right, we're still doing nicknaming right now, so we need a name for this little thing. A carnivorous Pokemon that traps and eats bugs. It uses its root feet to soak up needed moisture. Audrey, Bell Snout, Biscuit. <laughs> Biscuit's fun. Bell, Pepper, Venus. Venus is also good. Salad. I'm leaning. I like Biscuit as a, like, a non-sequitur name, but I think... You know, 
Venus is good. Feels right. <laughs> Gissel, also very good. But yeah, Venus does feel appropriate, doesn't it? Anyone else living in this grass? Oh, hydration reminder. Appreciate that. That's a good, good thought. We'll do a tea break pretty soon here. After we fight this bird. My posture is pretty good, though. Largely thanks to the chair. I have a, like, pretty good office desk chair thing that helps provide pretty good posture without much effort or reminder. Though unlikely, if Square ever decides to remake Final Fantasy VIII in the same vein as VII, uh, what would you say is core that they keep to maintain Final Fantasy VIII's identity? That's a good question. Hmm. Let's sit outside this house and think on that for a second. They would need to lean into the... sort of, like, boarding school vibes. I think that, like, the original game leans into that a lot. I know it's more like a military school or whatever, but... There's a lot of, like school anime type like vibes and things they could get a lot out of uh yeah, yeah there are definitely a lot of like found family in that I think there's a lot of world building work that it would need to do there's a lot about the world of 8 that is kind of bizarre that is not unexplainable but it would need some more work explaining Draw magic seems pretty core. Honestly, I like I haven't thought too much about it. I have a feeling you could turn Final Fantasy VIII's mechanics into a more action RPG really easily. Like something tells me it would convert really well. It'd be a very different play experience, but something tells me you could do it, and that it would actually actually probably be a lot more fun. Like the draw drawing magic from enemies, junctioning. It could probably make a rad like action RPG actually. They would definitely, like, the thing that I think they'd have to figure out is, like, how much to lean into, like, the sort of, like, mercenary school thing about Final Fantasy VIII and Balam Garden and all that is inherently kind of bizarre and weird and more sinister than even the game even really treats it. And I think they'd have to figure out whether they wanted to sort of soften and pivot or adjust that in getting more detailed with it or lean further into that because it's a very weird kind of uh, kind of uncomfortable thing if you think about it for more than five seconds I also think that there's some plot elements that they would either need to like the the brief takeover of the garden by like Norg or whatever is such a thing that comes out of nowhere and then is over and done and doesn't really come up again like that's the sort of thing that would need to be like hints toward that would need to get planted way earlier and then have there need to be more like longer term ramifications of it or they just need to kind of drop it it's a there's there's lots of cool things about 8 but narratively there's also a lot of kind of it goes a lot of wild places and gets very abstract and I feels like it feels like there's a lot there that could be fleshed out more and made even more cool but as is there's some unevenness to eight narratively not unfixable unevenness but it's in its original form it is that way I feel a little bit that way with six too 
Six, I think, could really make it interesting. I don't know if they need to do a full-on extreme AAA seven remake treatment for six, but I feel like even if just, I would love to see Final Fantasy VI effectively created by the Final Fantasy XIV team, even within like XIV's engine and graphical fidelity, I think they could make a really compelling, I guess that's kind of what Stormblood sort of, like Stormblood is a lot of six, has a lot of six DNA in it, but I feel like the Final Fantasy XIV team could bring the best out of six narratively. And there's a lot of, like, Six has a lot of really cool stuff in it that could be, uh, that could really thrive, I think, given a more modern treatment. I wonder why the fans believe that the Squall is dead in Disc 2 and beyond theory, seeing how the plot goes sort of off the rails. Well, it, yeah, like, that sort of theory doesn't really carry much weight for me, just because I don't think it that interpretation makes the story any more interesting, really. Uh, like, it's, it's a fun exercise, but, like, a, like, a fun creative writing prompt, as a lot of those sorts of interpretations can be, but they don't, I don't, they often aren't very additive, I don't find. Uh, but, yeah, there is so much about 8 that goes wacky, uh, and not necessarily in silly fun ways the way 7 does, but more in just sort of, uh, this story's going all kinds of wild places, and I don't entirely understand what's going on, but it's, like, big and evocative and cool, but also I'm feel, starting to feel a little lost. <laughs> uh, it's such a weird one as an entry. Anyway, this is this is not a this is not how tea breaks work. I should go and get a tea real fast. Start making a tea or heating it up. Here. Y'all listen to some jams for a second. I'm gonna go start the kettle heating and then I'll come back and we can chat a little bit more while uh waiting for tea to be ready. So let's see. We will shift over to here for a second. I'll be right back. Let me just get that kettle going. Now we get... Keep the music going. There. Okay, kettle's going, tea is imminent. While that is heating. Oh no, not both music, that's, no, bad. There.
while that water is heating. Let's just sit here for a moment and maybe save. Saving would be smart. So what are we talking about? What did y'all get up to in the couple minutes where I was gone? Pichu bopping to the music. <laughs> Do you plan to play Coliseum or XD as part of this revisiting series? Yes, I will be dipping into the um, spin-offs as well. Probably just for like one stream each. I don't need a lot of footage. I will... I will want to get footage of them to kind of get... to have a point of reference for what the animation in Pokemon spin-offs was doing at the same time, like around the same years as the releases of any given mainline gen release, right? So yeah, like I want footage of Coliseum and XD and Ranger and Mystery Dungeon and all that stuff. Because like, and Snap as well, for sure. <clears throat> uh, because like while those games are made with different scope and constraints so like one-to-one -one comparisons of animation are not uh always super useful it is it can be helpful context i think pokemon channel probably maybe i can't remember what channel is Our stadium and stadium two both on the Switch and 64. That's helpful. I think I have. I know I at least have a physical copy of uh, Stadium One that I could capture from. I'll have to look and see how Switch emulation looks compared to upscaled original in terms of like accuracy. But uh, yeah, I'll have to look into that. Oh, is Channel the, like, successor to Hey You Pikachu? I'll have to look into this. I, I have no familiarity with this. Pokemon Channel is you sitting in a room with a CRT and a bunch of fake Pokemon TV channels, including some exclusive mini-movies. <laughs> well, if it's, not a, if it's not actually, like, a game game, then I probably won't bother. Uh, because that's... At that point, that's not useful. As context or comparison. I'll have to see, though. So, Pokemon Channel, was it effectively just a game that had, like, clips and TV, like, clips from the TV show and other random stuff in it? I, I, I should... I shouldn't make you all type out a... Wikipedia explanation that I can look up right now while I'm waiting for tea. Pokemon Channel. A 2003 video game in the Pokemon series. Um, for the GameCube. The player's goal is to help Professor Oak refine and promote his TV network through watching broadcasts with the mouse-like Pikachu. Contains elements of the adventure, digital pet, and simulation genres. The player can explore full 3D environments, have Pikachu con converse with other Pokemon, and collect various items. I mean... We could dip into it. Developed rather quickly as a sequel to Hey You Pikachu to promote the e-reader accessory. Uh, granted, if it includes like a bunch of clips from... 
the TV series that are going to get our stream in trouble. <laughs> Maybe not then, but, um... I can dip into it, though. If I can track it down, anyway. I'll have to see what the retro game shops in town have lying around. Boy, I miss living across the street from a pink gorilla. That was real convenient. <laughs> All right, I think the water is hot. Let me go get the tea steeping a bit. I'll be back in like just a second. Okay, okay, okay. Tea steeping. Um, yes, Pink Gorilla is a uh, like retro game shop. There are several of them in the Seattle area, and I miss them. I lived very close to one back there. Being able to just pop in there once a week or so to see what happened to be in was very helpful for getting the like N64 collection re-established. Picking up some of these DS and 3DS Pokemon games for capture later. Vancouver has some shops like it as well, but they're not nearly as close by. I'm going to strongly recommend you play Coliseum and XD to at least end credits. They play identically to the GBA games with a couple twists. We'll see. I don't I don't expect I'm going like if I'm really enjoying it, maybe, but there are there's so much Pokemon we gotta get through here. We are two gyms in to the first one in Gen 1. The road ahead is long. <laughs> we'll see though. If we're having a good time, maybe we'll do like two or three streams of it. You nervous about the upcoming Pokemon Presents? There's certainly gonna be a mainline game, but I feel like their aggressive release schedule and growing scope is having an increasing toll on the final product. Yeah, I'll be curious to see uh, what the next Pokemon Presents is. So, like, in their rhythm... Uh, I had this figured out at one point when I sort of, like, charted it out on, like, a little spreadsheet. In their rhythm of releases, there is... They kind of alternate between mainline game and spinoff. Did Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl come out before Scarlet Violet or after? Remind me. I thought it was before. Before, okay. And we haven't had another uh, update release of past ones since then. So I would guess my prediction would be that uh, the next release is going to be an update of previous, maybe like black and white uh, remaster release for the Switch. Gen 5, yeah, I'm assuming Gen 5 remake. That's right, Black, uh, Bril like Brilliant Diamond and the Gen 4 Remix and Scarlet Violet were released like really close to each other. Forgot about that. But yeah, I, I would guess Gen 5 Remake is next in line. Uh, either given the full Gen 8 or 9 treatment or more likely something probably a little visually simpler closer to the Gen 4 Remakes that we got. Hopefully a little better looking. I didn't really like the aesthetic they picked for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Or at least the execution on it, but. But we'll see. I would guess. I would guess we're not going to see an announcement for Gen 10 until the next Switch, whatever it ends up being, is at least announced, if not released. It could also be like a new Legends type game. I'd be down for that as well.
No new Pokemon until next year seems unlikely. That, that like that's generally the cadence they do. Like they they don't release a new gen every year. They they are releasing new Pokemon games every year, but every new gen is usually two to three years apart. It is going to be very interesting seeing what Gen 10 looks like, both in like pre like trailer form and also on its release. Because I, I am curious if Nintendo will be like, if Nintendo slash Pokemon Company slash Game Freak will be trying to change anything about their approach in the wake of Scarlet and Violet, or if they'll just be kind of continuing continuing on the same course and trying to. Uh, Just not let like uh, let the releases come out in quite as rough a shape. If they're able to release on new hardware, which they almost certainly will, then that's going to help immensely in terms of the game, like being able to make it perform well. <laughs> I'll honestly be very surprised if they don't do a kind of a special edition re-release of Scarlet and Violet for the new Nintendo hardware whenever it comes out, because then the games will be able to kind of thrive a little bit better. Like, aesthetically, they may still look rough, because uh, I don't know how much they're, they would really totally overhaul the look of the game, but being able to release Scarlet and Violet on hardware that could run it easier would seem like an easy win. Or heck, maybe just playing Scarlet and Violet on the new hardware just makes it run better straight up. Who knows? Maybe a bit of wishful thinking. I don't know, but. I did hear, like, I didn't play Scarlet and Violet, like, more than a short little bit just to glimpse animation in it, but, uh, it did seem like, aside from performance and visuals issues, that the play of it is, like, I've heard almost nothing but great things about the play of it and the structure of it, which is exciting. Maybe Pal World lights a fire under Pokemon Company? I kind of doubt it. I don't think Pokemon Company is going to take much from Pal World. They don't really have a lot of reason to. Pokemon is massively successful as it is, and only increasingly so every <laughs> with every generation. They don't need to pivot to what like an imitator is doing. An imitator who's making a completely different kind of game. With a completely different audience, too. Not that, it's not like they won't learn from competitors, but I don't think that Power World, from what I've seen of Power World, it doesn't have a lot to teach Pokemon. Like, I don't feel like there's a lot that Pokemon has to gain by imitating Power World. Uh, because, yeah, it because Power World is like effectively Arc that also has Pokemon in it. And that combination, like, can be fun. It could be that, like, uh, maybe with the um, Legend series, the Pokemon, uh, like, crew decide to, like, dip their toe into a little bit more of that survival, like, bring some more of those survival mechanics in. But Nintendo doesn't... Nintendo is not much of an imitator when it comes to, like, 
design and genre. Like, they seem to be more like if they're going to jump into a kind of genre that is popularized elsewhere, they're going to do it in their own way on their own terms. Like, Breath of the Wild is an open world game, yes, but one that was very unlike the other open world game experiences that were being uh, released out there. Which is a good way for them to go. Like, their the strength of their design is one of their biggest assets. They've got an incredible bunch of designers over there. Okay, that tea should be steep now. I'm going to go finish making tea, and then we'll come back and we'll keep on doing Pokemon Gray. <laughs> so BRB, everyone. Okay, tea has been obtained. <laughs> I'm so out of practice with <laughs> streaming. I literally just remembered. It's like, oh, right, when you're going AFK for more than a minute, you can just run an ad. Hit the button. <laughs> Fool. Anyway, tea's obtained, though. That helps. Hey, thanks, Quasimoto, for the 15 months. I have to watch Live Dan and the Final Fantasy VII series at the same time? What's a working lad to do? <laughs> well, I appreciate you being here. But okay.
Long past time, we resumed. Pokemon. There we go. Okay, let's get audio back. There we are. Yes. Okay. So. We have not yet gone in this house. You. I run a daycare. Would you like me to raise one of your Pokemon? Sure. Which Pokemon should I raise? Um... Do we leave Ziggy or Cordy? I... Spoiler, I'm fairly confident that whoever we leave here will live here forever. But, um... Yeah, here, Cordy, you hang here. I mean, it's not like Ziggy's gonna stay in our party either, but... Here, Cordy. You live here now. Fine, I'll look after Cordy. For a while. Come see me in a while. You got it. See you in a while. Dan, I would like very much to thank and curse you for my new obsession with Final Fantasy XIV. I'm sorry, but you're welcome. I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty. Oh, wait there. The road's closed. Oh. Um. But. But I need to. But. Underground path. To Cerulean City? From oh, right. There's an underground path. Okay. Hi, do you have a Nidoran? Want to trade it? No. No to both. That's too bad. Underground path time. If I'm willing to entertain the question, have I seen the Shadows of the Erd Tree trailer and have opinions? I did see the trailer. If you've... If you don't know already, folks, there's a trailer finally for the Elden Ring DLC. You should go see it. People often lose things in that underground path. Really, is there, like, stuff down there that I'm supposed to... Button mash to interact? Button mashing. Bunch of hidden items. Not on this row. Anyway, let's try this one. Ooh, nice. But yeah, new Elden Ring trailer looks great. And huge. It looks like there's a lot of it. <laughs> a lot of new areas, a lot of new enemies. They've been on it for two years. I expect it's going to be substantial. Can't wait. And it's coming in June, which should maybe give me just enough time to get through Rebirth and, like, maybe Deltarune Chapter 2. That works out for me. I'm grateful. Also, basically, the price of a full game. Honestly, I'm fine with that. They... For a game that large, they should... They, they can charge full game price for that sort of stuff. Okay, let's see. Underground path, Cerulean City to Vermilion. We're here now. What's in the local grass? Anything good? Why, it's the same bird. Watson, dispose of this. Hey, thank you for the 17 months, Rubik Dark Will and Rob Raccoon. 
Much appreciated. Also, thanks for subscribing. Uh, Heretictoid. Heretectoid. Much appreciated. Uh, so, okay, this would be the route up to Saffron, if that were available. Hello. There aren't many bugs out here. <laughs> and thank you for the 10 months, Kevlar. 19. Let's keep leveling up this rock. And thank you for subscribing as well, Jesse Phoenix Art. Much appreciated and welcome. Uh, let's see. Yeah, keep leveling the rock. We need... This rock is... Our only hope of getting through the next gym any time in the near future. <laughs> yes, Baha Bali, that is, that is a new emote. And a good one. I, too, am a fan of the new emote. Keep going, Pebbles. Keep crushing bugs. Ah yes, that heart emote is also new. We already had a heart emote, technically, but... Never hurts having options. I feel like I should contend with more of these trainers once I've reached town and have access to a, uh... Poke Center, you know? Never seen you around. You good? We'll find out. What's Pokemon Gray? It's... It's Pokemon Blue. It's just... We're in black and white here, so... You also have a Butterfree. What is this? It's not a good matchup, that's what it is. Watson, do you think you can survive long enough to destroy this? Maybe not. Kaboom, not with a crit. Certainly not. Um. All right, bubs, you. Hey. I guess it was only a matter of time before the bug kids finally figured out that they could have an overpowered butterfly. I got bubs. Alright, bubs, I don't think this is working out. Let's, uh... Hmm. None of these are great, but... Maybe Grubbles can make this work. I, too, am glad I saved it during break time. Uh... See how you like being asleep. Oh. Doesn't work. And now I'm confused. Boo. Yeah, that's right. See how you like it. Maybe I should switch. Someone who's not going to just die in confusion. 
Or, no, I should use an Awakening on, uh... This one. And then... Bubs, hopefully you got time to drop this thing before it wakes up. Stay asleep. Good. Good bubs. By the way, thank you, Arc Flash Hazard, for the 16 months. Uh, what would you look... Uh, what would you look at that? 16 months. I think that's almost a year. Here's to another 16 months of enjoyable parasocial in, uh, interaction. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, you can poison me, that's fine. I accept. Woo! Strong butterfly. You are too good. Honestly, I was somewhat lucky. Now let's save and see if we can survive the hike to town. Then come back and fight a couple more trainers. Ugh. I forget, and Pokemon, do you need a revive or a potion just to heal a Pokemon? You need a revive, don't you? Yeah, you do need a revive. Okay, I thought so. Well, we'll make do. Me? Well, okay, I'll play. That is also a cute little sprite. Right up there with the youngster. Ah. If only Watson was awake. Oh well. We'll make do. Is Rock Throw going to work? On Bird? I mean, Tackle's working pretty good. I just feel like... Let's try. It is super effective. Oh, I didn't know that uh, Rock moves were good against Birds. Learning all sorts of stuff today. Ground bad. Did that make sense? Throw rocks! Very good, pebbles. Exquisite. Yes. Yeah, in retrospect, I guess Pebbles probably could have hit that Butterfree pretty hard. Then again, I suspect the Butterfree would have used... Even if they... Whether they used Sleep or Confuse, that would have been pretty rough. But yeah, that's probably true. Pebbles would have done better than I realized. Huh? You want to talk to me? You approached me. But okay. I have learned how to deal with birds when my... Oops. Well, not tackle, but when my thunder mouse is napping. It do be hard hitting birds with rocks, though.
Pebbles, could you please hit the bird? Pebbles, just tackle the bird. I don't know why that's easier. Good work, Pebbles. Level 20. I approve. Raticate, is it? Okay. Very hostile looking rat. Certainly did not develop more chill with age. Ow. survive? Barely. Good work, Pebbles. Phenomenal. I didn't start it. Okay. Can I get into town now, please? Thank you. Whew. Good town theme, too. Alright, Poké Center, where are you at? I'll find you. There you are. Woo! Good. See, Pokemon fact, because of a less than being in the place of uh, less that are equal to, every move in Gen 1 has a 1 out of 256 chance of missing, regardless of accuracy. To solve this in Stadium, they changed the code. They didn't change the code, they just ran the check twice, so you have a that chance to miss. Interesting. And fun little duct tape fix, too. I like it. My Pokemon was poisoned. It fainted while we were walking. Let's fetch Venus. Not that they'll be, like, much of a game changer in a gym at their level, but kind of better than nothing. I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. Do you like to fish? Sure. Grand, I like your style. Take this and fish, youngin'. Thank you. Fishing is a way of life. From the seas to rivers, go out and land the big one, young one. Thank you. I shall. Well, heck, let's do that right now. I'm going to land the big one. Let's move this further up the list. No, I mean, swap. Swap it with... There. It's a bite! It's a Magikarp! I wonder if it's possible to hit this without killing it. I guess we could send out Venus, but Venus is sleepy. Ziggy, you could make this work, right? Pretty wild rear-facing sprite for a Zubat. No, I'm not capturing it right now. Hang on. I think it just crashed. That's fine.
Haven't missed anything super important. Gotta get this Magikarp, though. Splashing up a storm. There we go. Probably do it. Get in the ball. Weak fish. In the distant past, it was somewhat stronger than the horribly weak descendants that exist today. Harsh. What do we call this weakling? Fish is pretty good, I think. There's gonna be no more appropriate Pokemon to deploy this name with. Fish. Love it. Anyway, uh, you. Did you see SSN moored in the harbor? We're careful about pollution. We've heard Grimer multiplies in toxic sludge. Cute world building. In putting up a building on this plot of land, my... Pokemon is tamping the ground, uh, tamping the land. Neat. I'm a top is stomping the land flat. It's quite cute. Um, oh, super potions are available now. That's nice. Uh, let's actually check the inventory again real quick. We need more antidotes and awakenings. Super potion would not be bad to have. Perhaps even two. An ice heal for safety, should that become a thing. A couple awakenings. Can't remember if we have a Paralyze Heal, but let's get ourselves covered from that, too. Got Repels. Okay. I don't remember. Is it... Like, uh, difficulty-wise, is it better to do SSN or the Vermilion Gym first? I don't remember. Gotta do the boat to do the gym. Gotcha, okay. I'm getting my Pidgey to fly a letter to Saffron in the north. Oh, you need Cut to get to the gym, of course. Oh, the fan club, all Pokemon fans, welcome. My people. Pokemon themselves are allowed into the club, I see. I just love my seal. It squeals when I hug it. I chair the Pokemon fan club. I've collected over a hundred Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. So, did you come visit to hear about my Pokemon? You bet I did. Good, then listen up. My favorite, Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh yes, it's stunning. Kindly love it. Hug it when sleeping, warm and cuddly. Spectacular ravishing. Go up to look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. A bike voucher. Ooh. Exchange that for a bicycle. Don't worry, my Fira will fly me anywhere. So I don't need a bicycle. Hope you like cycling. Boy, that's almost worth running all the way back, isn't it?
Our chairman's very vocal about Pokemon. Huh, <laughs> my Pikachu's twice as cute as that one. Is it true? Agree to disagree, but it's a pretty good Pikachu, I suppose. Well, heck with it. Let's run back and get a bike. Oh. Hey, thank you. <laughs> no IO before bedtime or no low before bedtime? Thank you very much for the donation. Mr. Frame, I'm partway through a playthrough of Marble It Up, and it's awesome to see that other people also loved Marble Blast. Apparently, it had quite the ROM hacking community. It was free on Max back in the day. Also, do not bother pronouncing username. <laughs> Too late, but... Thanks for the warning all the same. <laughs> and thank you very much. Marble platformers are maybe my favorite 3D platformers, period. It's an excellent time. Oh, does that NPC's comment change if you don't have a Pikachu in your party? Oh, I wonder. Mr. Dan Frame, now a canon event. <laughs> oh, they actually let you ignore that gym if you want after the boat and just move on? Though I would think that would eventually come back to bite you, right? Like, if you keep leveling your Pokémon past a certain point and you haven't got the badge? Still gonna need that badge eventually. You have a voucher for a million Poké Dollar bicycle. Give me. Oh, that's a bike voucher. Oh, there you go. Better make room for this. Oh, do I? Is my inventory like full right now? I mean, it wouldn't be if you took my bike vouch. Okay, let's go do a little sorting. Oh yeah, the Thunder Badge allows you to use Fly, so yeah, you probably would want to go take care of that gym before too long, huh? Let's deposit some things we don't need, like this nugget. These TMs. Have I looked into Kaizo at all? Not really. Like, I've... The closest I've come is just playing Mario Maker levels that happens to be quite hard. I think they're very neat, but I, d I don't have the, uh... time or probably patience to, uh... develop, like, Kaizo-level skills and learn tricks. I do think they're great, though. I love watching, like, watching Kaizo speedrunners at GDQ and such. That's, like, some of my favorite stuff that happens at any given GDQ. It's always so fun to watch. Not just for, like, the runs, but also just to see the what the, like, Kaizo level creators have come up with. It's so cool. Oh, were, were you referring to Pokemon Kaizo, which is a slightly different thing? Which also sounded interesting, but no, I've not dipped into that either. Dan Jones has. Dan Jones has done, I think, quite a lot of Kaizo, Pokemon Kaizo streams in the past. I'm still on my training wheels here, though. Here you go! Now, I remember later Pokemon games giving you a way to, like, set up a, like, a shortcut key for some particular item. That wasn't until later, right? We're gonna have to go into our inventory each time to go bicycling, yes? Yeah, that's all right.
pretty much until the Game Boy Advance. Ah, we'll make do. Oh, gold silver. Okay, so that's not not having to wait all the way till the advance at least. That's good. Huzzah. So let's see. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yay, bicycles. Love a good bicycle. And with such peppy music, too. Can you bike in the tunnel? Yeah. Tunnel bike! We didn't really fight you two, huh? Who's there? Quit listening in on us. No, fight me. Hey, look at your little squirtle there. Watson, I think this one's for you. Wait, I haven't seen the first VOD of the series. Is there a plan to play some of the later games? Oh yeah, no, we'll be playing all of them. Maybe not, like, all the way to the end, but we will be beating at least one from each gen. Much Pokemon will be had. Excuse me, this is a private conversation. And it will be again once I'm done thrashing your Pokemon. I need to level up my rock so that it can carry me through the Thunder Gym. This will be a good warm-up, I think. Does not affect me. Try again. It was a very successful test run, I think. Am I going to play both gold and silver since they have different sprites depending on the game? No, I think we'll be doing uh, gold or silver. Haven't decided which yet. And then crystal. Like, different sprite art is good, but it's not, like, ultimately the... It's not ultimately vital to any animation point that I can imagine myself needing to make while discussing those particular games. It may be new sprite art, but none of it's moving. <laughs> so... <laughs> At the end of the day... Not the most important. And Crystal has a mix of both? Oh, that's good. You looked up Surge's team. Are spoilers permitted during the stream? Eh, well, we'll keep it a surprise this time. If I'm ill-prepared, we will all find out together. Okay, I think I'm done with town until I've done boat. So, uh...
Vermilion Harbor. The SSN is a famous luxury cruise ship. We visit Vermilion once a year. Welcome to the SSN. Thank you. Excuse me, do you have a ticket? I flashed the SS ticket. Great, welcome to the SSN. The passengers are restless. You might be challenged by the more bored ones. Bring it. I think silver is the one that I'm planning to play, probably. But then I might do gold. Dan Jones did give me some footage of silver already. I don't know, we'll see. You pup, how dare you barge in? Gentleman Sprite is fun too. You don't know why this part of the game always excited you and made me happiest as a kid? It's pretty cool, like it's a cool, different thing, right? Like, up until now you've been You've gone through a cave, you've gone down various routes, seen a few towns, some gyms. This is just like a really different encounter and scenario for finding trainers. Feels really neat and unique after uh, getting kind of used to the rhythm of uh, routes and towns. Another Nidoran, you say? Keep him coming. Keep tackling it. Yes. Humph, you rude child. That's fair. I will be going. I have no further business here. Hello. Waiter, I would like a cherry pie, please. You got it, ma'am. I always travel with Wigglytuff. Jealous, I want one. A cruise is so elegant yet cozy. I do like that also not every passenger fights you. That it is just sort of like clearly the folks who are like, ah, I'm... I'm bored. I need some entertainment. Let's do a battle. Bonjour. I'm the waiter on this ship. <laughs> I will be happy to serve you anything you please. Ah, the strong silent type. <laughs> uh, hello. I collected these Pokemon from all around the world. If you leave the ship, like, to go heal or something, does it leave, too? Do I need to stay on the ship if I want to fight everything? The ship doesn't leave till you have the HM for cut. Good. Yeah, actually, that makes sense. Since you get a vital progression tool on the ship, of course it wouldn't leave until you're done with the place. Let's give Grubbles a turn. Got Almost got our core team all up to 20. That's nice. Very good.
Oh no, I went around the world for the- I went around the world for these! I love Pokemon, do you? Yeah, this game do have some major screen flashes. Which wouldn't have been nearly so bad on a tiny Game Boy screen. In 1080p full screen emulator form. A little more noxious. Yeah, thanks for the 17 months, Fearless Son. This is taking me back to the 90s. It is quite nostalgic, isn't it? One of the very few Pokemon generations I can actually have childhood nostalgia for. Once we hit Gen 2, it's pretty much all new to me for a good long while. Which is exciting, honestly. Give me this. We're cruising around the world. We sure are. I'm gonna go heal up real quick. And then resume my pillaging of this boat. And its occupants. Where's my bike? There we go. Love that jolly tune. How goes the Pokemoning? Pretty good. We are attacking and taking money from the passengers on this cruise ship, which I think technically counts as piracy. We be doing sea crimes. Okay, did this room, did the next room over. Yeah! This room? <laughs> hype train, but we're on a boat. Oh yeah, we are hype training all of a sudden, aren't we? Goodness. Much appreciated, y'all. Shh, I'm a global police agent. I'm on the trail of Team Rocket. Ooh. Well, good luck to you. Please ignore my pirate activities. Now, we did SSN in one trip. How disappointing, little prince. Yeah, well... <laughs> you, mon petit, we're busy here. Out of the way. It's a very French cruise ship. I saw an odd ball in the trash. <laughs> I'm so busy, I'm getting dizzy. Ahem. <clears throat> Indeed, I am Le Chef. No. The main course is salmon du salad. What? Les guests may gripe it's fish again, however. <laughs> End of thought. Snivel, sniff. Yeah! I only get to peel onions. <laughs> Goodness, we're getting a lot of... <laughs> getting a lot of character contribution here all of a sudden. <laughs> For the hype train. Did you hear about Snorlax? All it does is eat and sleep. Hum de hum de ho. I peel spuds every day. Hum hum. <laughs> Why are the hype tra train emotes so bad? I'm not sure. Yeah! I never actually looked at them. No, I guess I didn't check the trash can, did I? Perhaps I should. Apparently, one can find an oddball. Nope. Only trash here. Thanks, pal. Nope. Only trash here. Ooh, a great ball. Odd, but great. Hooray. Thank you for the five gifted subs, Baha Bali. Very kind of you. Enjoy the emotes, everyone, including the new shocked one. Which is extremely good. Thanks, Dan Jones, again. 
Thanks, pal. Let's check out this side. Oh, goodness, and thank you, Scruff Griffluff, for the five gifted subs as well. Y'all are altogether too kind. I travel alone on my journeys. My Pokemon are my only friends. <laughs> you don't have to admit it out loud, sir. We're strangers. That is a cute attempt at a Growlithe. <laughs> Look at that doofy little girl eyes. It's trying. It's very best. <laughs> Thank you all very much for the hype train. Another Growlithe, you say? I will give it a bath. I'm curious, do they... I don't remember what the... area setting name is for Pokemon X and Y, but it's, like, much more... French, like, France-derived, right? Do they canonically later, like, establish that this... <laughs> that this cruise ship originates from, like, uh... or makes port somewhere in that land? In Kalos? Kalos? Whatever. No, they did not do that? They should've. <laughs> you should be nice to friends. Do 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 do. I'm taking your stuff. Thank you. My buddy Machoke is super strong. He has enough strength to move big rocks. Hello. My sailor's pride is at stake. Bring it. That's a fun sprite, too. The trainer sprites really are good. And a horsey. Not an ideal matchup. Let's see what can be done. Here's that. There we are. Gotcha. Pebble's getting so strong. Really, that's no more upsetting a shelter than you'll find anywhere else. Am I going to play the very niche e-reader Pokemon games? Probably not. That feels like it's it hits a threshold of niche enough that it can be safely ignored. Get shocked. Hey, thank you for the 17 months, Barrett Engineer. C button, click button. <laughs> Oh no! The funnest move in the game! I got us again. There we go. Your spirit sank me. What about you? You know what they say about sailors and fighting. <laughs> they do it, presumably.
Thank you all very much for the bits. And this train of hype we are enjoying. Ouch. Mm. Yeah, why not? I am confused, but hopefully still victorious? Nope. Ow. Very ow. Dang. Oh well. Grubbles. Finish this, please. There is something unsettling about the low health beep being slightly out of tempo with the music. I agree. It is... Extremely well engineered to be an uncomfortable noise. Which I guess it should be to a degree, but if it's going to just keep happening constantly nonstop, it's a bit obnoxious if you ask me. Am I allowed to ride bikes on boats? Tragic. Let's go wake Watson up. And then finish cleaning out this boat. It's high time we got another badge out here. Thank you for the 17 months. Marvelous intent. Have a bicycle. Have a bicycle theme. In celebration, rather. A bicycle isn't a thing. fought you too. I like feisty kids like you. All right, Watson. Don't choke. Watson, I feel like you should be due to loot, learn thunder or something not too far from now. I agree, the horsey sprite is very cute. Good horsey. Level 21, hooray. The horsies just love blowing bubbles. Thank you all again for that hype train. Very generous and kind of you. 
Give me your stuff. Thank you. Us sailors at Pokemon too. I know. Mostly horsies, occasional shelters and tentacles. Speak of which. Keep up the good work, Watson. Gonna have to head out and make sure to catch them all. I'll do my best. Acid. Hey, don't. Ow. You also heading out, little Minamaru? I'll probably still be going. Later on. If you feel like rejoining. I expect I'll probably, like, Thursdays are a day where I'm going to be aiming to stream for as much as I'm able. So probably, probably for a good few more hours at least. Until I run out of time or energy or need food. Oh, a star are you? There's some novelty. Probably better, uh... Make use of a potion. Oh, so the next thing we're learning is swift as this Pikachu. And not for a little while, I see. Welcome, El Trazzo. Glad you could tune in. Enjoy that low HP sound. <laughs> Let's see what I can do about that. Eh, might as well go ahead and use that last potion there. Just so we can put off hearing that sound again. Yeah, it is pretty much just a whole day of a stream, isn't it? It's gonna be nice. I feel like we have to have at least one day of the week that is a lot of streams if we're gonna... ...get through Pokémon games. Hello, stranger! Stop and chat! Oh, my Pokémon are from the sea! Back to Watson. Well, this boat is keeping Watson busy. Good thing we're getting all these money winnings, because we're going to be buying a lot of potions when we get back to land. Let's see how long Watson can hang in there. Ooh. Still standing. Our little lucky rat. Nice. Good noises, good noises. Let it ride. I want just one person on this boat who has super low-level Pokémon that are all water-type because they decided to take up training on a whim and caught them all on the cruise. That'd be cute. I'd like that, too. I would run back for a free heal, but to save time.
I suppose I should put Watson at the front of the team. Having Pebbles up there has been helping to get a little passive experience, but uh, it's been all water Pokemon all the time lately. Except for now, but uh, it's not like Pebbles would have been good for this matchup either. Ow. Stop getting surprise crits karate chopping the butterfly. Hey, level 20 grubbles finally, though. That's nice. That's it for this deck. I do think we have one other part of the boat we can get to, though. Karate chop crits often. I see. Hello. This ship, she's a luxury liner for trainers. At every port, we hold parties with invited trainers. Seems like a good time. In all my travels, I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like this one. It was something like this. Look at that Snorlax. Hey, can I borrow your bed? My Pokemon need rest. So many fights on this boat. Hey, check out what I fished up. Ooh, a goldie. With something to hide. Keep going, Watson. I guess it would be smart for me to be getting some levels maybe on Venus. Unless there was another grass type I wanted to actually invest in. Not really sure which one I would choose, though. If I didn't go with a grass starter, what grass type would I actually want in my final party? Hmm. Oddish is pretty cute, though that cuteness fades with time and evolution. And I don't know if Oddish is in this one. Uh... Would it count as backseating by coming with a suggestion? Oh, but by all means. Go for it. Uh... Kazap. Executor. Executor. Oh, yeah, that's an option as well. Psychic Grass. That does seem like a pretty strong combo. Certainly not the cutest Pokemon on offer, but strong. Competing against the young keeps me youthful. Ah. I see you, too, have a Pikachu. This calls for pebbles. I cast rock. Execute isn't around until, like, Gym 5, is it? I guess that would be a little ways off. 
But we won't really be, like, in dire need of a grass type for a good while, I suppose. In fact, honestly, I guess most of the gems that we need a grass type for, we already did. I feel young again. Thanks for your money. And your items. I'm off. Ah, yes, I've seen some Pokemon fairy people across the water. Pokemon can cut down small bushes. Not yet, mine can't. But soon, maybe. So many of you. Which do you like, strong or rare Pokemon? Goodness, these doofy growl eyes. Get him, bubs. I honestly think we're probably, once I get like a fourth gym badge, I feel like we might be good on blue. It might be time to uh, jump to yellow since it's since the games are so similar. Playing mostly the same game back to back. I feel like getting halfway through blue will give me most of what I need. Pretty good ponyta. Solid ponyta sprite. Yay, another win. You also, I take it? Yeah. I never saw you at the party. I just got here. Everyone's so fighty. Get him, Pebbles. my stream name causing too much confusion? <laughs> Seems like there are folks who are thinking that I we're playing some sort of actual modded different version of Pokemon, which is not the case. It's causing engagement, technically. So long as it's not being annoying. More should do it. There we are. And thank you for the candy. I'll be taking this. Me and my daddy think the Safari Zone is awesome. Have you gone to the Safari Zone in Fuchsia City? It had many rare kinds of Pokemon. Hello. The captain looked really sick and pale. I hear many people get seasick. Oh dear.
Well, 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 I was not prepared. Bonjour, Dan. Imagine seeing you here. Dan, were you really invited? So, how's your Pokedex coming? I already caught 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas. So... Has your sprite changed? Did blue sprite change to now? Are they, like, looking different? Or is it just a different, uh... Am I just... Has it been a while and I'm forgetting? It's pretty cool if it actually changed... Oh, it does change throughout the game? That's awesome. That's great. I love that, actually. We might be in trouble. But maybe not. Say goodbye to your bird. Eradicate. Uh, Pebbles, you can probably make it work. You have become strong. Tackle the rat. Blue, you say you have caught 40 kinds. The fact that you still only have four with you makes me think you're exaggerating. Makes me think, perhaps, that you are moving the decimal point a little bit on your Pokémon acquisition rate. Kadabra. I'm still jealous that you have that. Bubs, I hope you're up to this one. You're still kind of burned. If it still only knows teleport, great. If it's learned act any actual damaging psychic moves. Whew, okay, I think it might just only have teleport. That's a relief. Still a problem for future us, though, upon next encounter. Oh, it had disable. Just never used it. I think this is for Grubbles, even though Grubbles is not looking their best. Uh, let's go ahead and play it kind of safe. It's been a while since we saved. Save ourselves a little time, huh? Get confused, nerd. Okay. Whew. That could have gone a lot worse. If my rival wasn't incompetent, we could have been in real trouble. <laughs> Thank you, Pichu. Huh. At least you're raising your Pokémon. I am, aren't I? I heard there was a Cutmaster on board. But he was just a seasick old man. But Cut itself is really useful. You should go see him. Smell ya. Whew. Maybe a good time to save, huh? How we doing? Oh, I feel hideous. Oh, seasick. Dan rub the captain's back. Rub, 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 rub. Whew, thank you. I feel much better. You want to see my cut technique? I could show you if I wasn't ill. I know, you can have this. 
Teach it to your Pokemon. You can see it cut anytime. Thank you. Good luck. Oh yeah, should we choose should we pick an HM sync? Like historically, whenever I've played the few times I've played, I tended to like sort of spread my uh, I didn't don't think I went up here. I spread my uh HMs kind of across my roster, kind of giving everybody one. Our captain's a sword master. He even teaches cut to Pokemon. But in this case, since we also only have like um Hello. Uh, ahoy there, are you seasick? I should have thought through that. That's fine. Since we only have, like, four Pokemon we're leaning on right now, we definitely do have a slot open. for a utility player. Is Rattata the common choice for the HM carrier? Now we do have Venus right here, that's true. We can give it to Venus now, and then perhaps choose someone to be the utility crewmate later. And now the ship will set sail once I leave. That's good to know. Our party has taken a little bit of a beating. But I think we can hang in there just long enough to uh, wrap up these last few fights. I was just careless. I'm not using a max potion. But I will save. Oh, I feel ill. I stepped out to get some air. Scrubbing decks is hard work. Hello. Hey, matey! Let's do a little jig! Hey, thanks for the four months, Dr. Fox. Grubbles, I hope you're up to, uh... handling this. You don't have a lot of HP. Bubs can finish the job if need be, I suppose. Unless you get crit, which you might... Yeah... All right, bubs. Do what you can. You are much higher level than it. Hanging in there, though. Isn't there a healer NPC on the boat? Is there? That'd be nice. If so, I think I missed them. No boat healing in Gen 1. Ah, I see. That's okay. This might be the last one to attack us. Maybe. The party's over. The ship will be departing soon. Yeah, I think I think we've done it. It is time to leave the boat.
We had some fine times aboard the SSN. But I am craving another gym badge. Bye, boat. I like that you do get to watch it leave. It's real cute. All right. We ride. And we heal, gracious. A diglet could be good for this gym. Is there a easily findable diglet from here? Go right out of the city. Right nearby, huh? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do a quick save and we'll uh, go do that. To the right of the pier. Okay, good to know. Actually, before we do, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. Y'all just sit tight for a moment. I'll run a quick ad and be back in just a couple minutes and we will go running off to get ourselves a diglet. I don't think we're going to need the backup. I, th I feel like Pebbles is going to get see us through, but just in case, never hurts. Y'all sit tight and I'll be right back. Okay, I, I return. I am back. We'll switch back over.
Thank you for the hydrate reminder. It's a good idea. Stretching also. I will do both. Okay. We require items, but then diglets. Can't even buy regular potions here. That's fine. Was the Away Splash screen made by uh, Lillian Chen? Yes. Yes, it was. And it's lovely. Suppose we should also teach... Cut... to... Venus. Just in case we need it. Okay. Notice Route 12 may be blocked off by a sleeping Pokemon. Detour through a rock tunnel to Lavender Town. Vermilion Police. As they are not about to move the Snorlax. All right. Let us acquire a Diglett. What a surprise! Diglett's dug this long tunnel. It goes right to Viridian City. Cool. I'm not heading that way yet, I just... I want a Diglett. Hello. Level 20 as well, that's honestly helpful. Hey. Don't hide. I sense you will be of great use to me. Diglett. Get confused, and then get in the ball, if you don't mind. There we are. Excellent. Now, what to name you, though? Lives about one yard underground where it feeds on plant roots. It sometimes appears above ground. Diggy. Mystery. Button. Button's pretty cute. Spud. Spud is also cute. Spud and Button are both very good. Spud it is. Now let's go back to town. Okay. Hello, Diglett. Oh, a level 21. I'm good, but thank you. Go ahead, Grubbles. Come on. There we are. Okay. Okay, guys. That will do, thank you.
Yeah, this cave is a whole thing. And we're gonna have to go through it, aren't we? Or is it optional? No, I sense we're gonna have to go through it. Best way to raise something with absorb is in this cave. <laughs> that makes sense. Other than the gens, will other spinoffs be played? Yes. Not finished. Probably only get like one stream each at most. But uh, yes, I will also get some footage of the spinoffs along the way. Now let's get Spot out here. Ziggy, take a hike. All right. So we have here... Oh, we should heal you up a bit first. We have pebbles and spud. I don't know how far behind spud is going to be levels-wise, but... Have I played the Pokemon Ranger games? I've not, though they are on the list to do... Again, probably just one stream of each, but... You go up front. I feel like at 23 pebbles is... All right for the moment. Venus, use cut. Yeah. Finally a gym again. Such a long time between gyms. Yo, champ in the making! Lieutenant Surge has a nickname. People refer to him as the Lightning American. Wow. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. Birds and water Pokemon are at risk. Beware of paralysis, too. Lieutenant Surge is very cautious. You'll have to break a code to get to him. What, the fact, one, that Surge is American, but also that his nickname is longer than his other name and title, like, rank. There's a lot going on with Surge. There's no place for kids. Get him, Spud. Ow. Get digged. That worked really good. Good work, Spud. And... Pikachu explode? Yes. Wow, surprise me. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. Let's swap pebbles in here, because... Well, Spud, try it. If you go first, which you don't, you might still one-shot the thing. Yep, nice. Good work, Spud. A Magnemite. Let's give Pebbles a turn.
Get hit with rocks, please. Get hit with rocks, please. Eh, just get tackled. Yeah, I feel like even if Spud doesn't get very far in this gym, Pebbles will secure a victory. It's not that Rock is super effective against Electric, it's just that Electric can do so little to Rocks. Unless they have a move like that, which works better. Which Surge's Pokemon probably will. Good work, Pebbles. Alright, let's heal up our two superstars here. Oh, right, you have to keep using cut every time, don't you? Silly. Pokemon with Cut gets knocked out. Are you just stuck there? Sounds like no, but good. That would be a bit of a problem. Okay, so like what's going on with this puzzle? Hey, there's a switch under the trash. Turn it on. The first electric lock opened. Hey, I'm good at this. Nope, there's only trash here. Hey, the electric locks were reset. Okay, well, maybe I can look for where the other uh, switches are ahead of time and... Okay, cool. So the first one, the fourth one, and... The... Okay. So. First. Oh, does it keep moving? The first switch is random. The second is adjacent to where you find the first. So, adjacent, like, in theory, here? Nope. Okay. Yeah, it's not a great puzzle. <laughs> Diagonals don't count, only orthogonally. Okay. Oh, I, and I was, for whatever reason, assuming that it was only going to be, like, one per row. But no, it could literally be anywhere, huh? Not a good puzzle. All right, switch. Got it. Next one should be adjacent to it, so theoretically, there's it go. Where's the third one supposed to be? Uh. Is there any logic to the third one, or is it just give it a try? Oh, there isn't a third switch. There's only two. Hooray! Thank goodness. 
That is a relief. Whew! When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict CO. Fittingly, a trash puzzle indeed. <laughs> Not very good. Good job, Spud. Stop! You're very good! Thank you. Okay. Save for safety. And let's get us a third gym badge, huh? Hello. Hey, kid. What do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, that's for sure. I tell you, kid, electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They zapped my enemies into paralysis. The same as I'll do to you. The electric gym in this first Pokemon game raises a lot more questions than it answers. Ow. Get Dig Dug. Good job, Spud. Hang in there. All right. Very good, Spud. Let's go ahead and give Pebbles a turn. And if it's looking bad for Pebbles, we'll swap to someone sacrificial and get some heals distributed. Thundershock does nothing. I tackle you. Thunderbolt does nothing. I tackle you. X speed, I mean, seems unnecessary. You're already much faster than me. Your enemies in the war should have brought rock type Pokemon is what I'm coming to realize. That was their fatal error. Bye. Whoa! You're the real deal, kid. Fine, then. Take the Thunder Badge. The Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon's speed. Also lets your Pokemon fly anytime, kid. You're special, kid. Take this. Thank you. Thunderbolt. Teach it to an electric Pokemon. I just might. In fact, well, no. Pikachu will learn that eventually anyway. Nope, there's only trash here. Crammed full of Pokemon books. And we're out! Huzzah! So let's get healed up, and then I guess it's... We'll head east, but I expect we're going to get blocked by a Snorlax and then have to go into a Diglett cave. Is my suspicion. Oh, does Pikachu not learn Thunderbolt in blue? Wild. Eh, maybe I should use it on Pikachu. Ah, 
I would love it if the gyms in Pokemon started enforcing special rules like in the show, like only three Pokemon each or specify that the gym leader's choosing their team based on how many badges you have. I'd love that. That'd Honestly, that'd be cool. And I feel like that would... It would make gym fights more strategically interesting. They could scale the difficulty of the fights down a little bit uh, so that the younger kids who are not just sort of like a all that great at the strategizing aren't completely thwarted by it. And it makes every one of those encounters way more interesting. That'd be pretty cool. I'd be on board with that. Okay. So the next gym is grass type. So we're not super well equipped for that, but uh, Grubbles is Confused is kind of our best option right now. So we'll get them some levels for the time being. And maybe get lucky and catch something useful along the way. You know, we should actually also drop off some items that we don't want before we go on potentially a long hike where we might pick up more things. No, not Bill's PC. My PC. Welcome, T Up Talk Salts. Sorry for saying your name wrong, but hello. Let's see. Not gonna need that ticket any longer. Not gonna need that. I kind of feel like stashing, uh, stashing the max potion too. Like it's that's more potion than I need right now. Probably better to actually... Let me get the other rare candy I have already and get it out. Because, uh, again, if we're only going up through four gems, we might as well use these uh, assets while we got it. Or maybe we'll hang on to them until, if we find a good Pokemon who would be good in a grass gem, acquire it, give it rare candy, and try to accelerate its growth. Store it for the moment, though. The only fire types around here are stone evos. Uh, honestly, even if we can just get a fire type at all, even if we can't evolve it, that would still be pretty helpful. Or another good psychic type, I suppose, would also do the trick. Yeah, Lavender Town theme is spooky. The nearest fire type is Vulpix around Celadon somewhere. Excellent. I could go for a good Vulpix. Even a mediocre one in a pinch. All right. Roll out. Let's steal some lunch money. Oh, flying is also good against grass. I'd forgotten. So we could also raise a bird. Not one of the two birds we've caught. They are way too low level. That would take ages. But if we spot a level 20 or higher bird along the way, that could also work. Get out of here, kid. You and your snake. I just became a trainer, but I think I can win. 
You've picked a good combatant. I, too, have just become a trainer. In many ways. Not feeling good about your odds, though. Of winning. Oh, is there a, gr a drowsy in the grass out here? I guess that would give us some more... Psychic options. Ooh, Supersonic. That one's just one that is a confuse the enemy, right? Maybe still worth swapping out Tackle or Poison for, though. Yeah, like, Tackle is pretty much only useful for trying to do some light taps on an enemy we want to catch, and I think we got other options for that around, so... Yeah. Fifty-five percent accuracy. Yeah. Could be better, but... Could also end up helping us if we run into a... real nasty encounter somehow. Zap. I feel like I'm way more... Like, I'm down for not catching all the interesting Pokémon along the way here. But in yellow, I'm more down for spending some more time. Not fully filling out the Pokédex, but, like... Trying to catch more Pokémon that I don't have intent to, to use. Pretty sure we have a Sandshrew already. Or do we? Yeah, I think we do. I don't remember when it was that they added, like, a little icon next to the names of ones that you'd actually caught before. But I'm pretty sure we caught one. Yeah, we did. We, we called it, like, Andrew the Sandshrew. <laughs> I remember. That was around Gen 3 where they started, uh, letting you know? Okay. So, we're a little ways off, but... Sandrew the Sandshrew, that's the one. Y'all came up with a good name there. Win, lose, or draw. Those are the options. What a doofy looking polywag. I like it. No, I don't want to sleep. Watson. Watson, wake up. Stop napping. Watson. Watson, wake up. Watson. Watson, please. Watson. Watson for real. Okay, little buddy. Do I have any awakenings? Good. Wake up. Get zapped. They later make it to where sleep is just three turns max. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good decision. Good call on their part. Watson, you're slower than a polywag now. I hope you're happy.
You're getting bullied by water Pokemon, Watson. It's embarrassing. There we go. Okay, let's heal up the crew real quick. Back to the fields. Thought I hadn't fought you yet. Pokemon should be ready now. Let's see. I don't think your Pokemon are ready. Hey, thanks for the gifted sub there, true unarmed toaster. Very generous of you. Oh, you have a Nidorino, do you? Well, let's see. It's a pretty good Nidorino sprite. I see why they put it in the intro. At least I think Nidorino was in the intro to this one. It's one of them. Nidorino and Gengar, that's right. Those are the ones. I too have a bell sprout, and not many options for hurting a bell sprout. That's what I'm working on. Or what I intend to work on before reaching the next gym. Because I don't know if Grubbles can confuse our way through an entire gym. It'll work for now. I would just love to have a backup plan. I don't even know if I have an antidote. Don't know if I could buy... Okay, I do. Good. There we are. Hooray. Thanks for the 17 months. A greenie. Oh, this is such a little guy. I do love the enthusiasm. On Oddish. In the sprite. I've never won before. Can't get over... Cannot get over these Growlithes. They look like... Like kind of shoddy Growlithe figurines. I like Growlithe in general. That sprite is a bit rough, though. And Vulpix! Excellent. Look how cute. A little off-model, but still very cute.
He has a very Kirby face. We're really tearing it up out here. Careful, I'm laying down some cables. That doesn't mean we can't stop to... fight, Mr. Engineer. Go ahead, Pebbles. Engineers really do have a, quite the battle stance on them. They very look like they are prepping a super move. Stop using Sonic Boom. It's like the one thing that works. And that's inconvenient for me. Thank you. Sometimes you just gotta ask. Watch out for live wires! Are we also an engineer? Yes. Spot, I'll let you take this one. I want to teach Pebbles digs since it's not going to learn a ground move for ages. That's not a bad idea. That didn't even occur to me, but yes. I like your thinking. working. Magneton. Get him, Spud. Yes. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> I've never lost. Here's something fun. Please step into the grass and use cut from the party menu. Okay. Just let me handle this little bit of business here, and then we will give that a shot. next. Okay, Spud, you know what to do. There we are. Okay. Okay, let's see about this. So, ingress... Use cut. Oh, cool. Yeah, I didn't know that worked. That's neat. I guess if you want to not have any risk whatsoever of encountering a Pokemon, I'm the best in my class. That's pretty neat.
Uh, Pebbles, you're kind of hurting a little bit. Grubbles, you can probably handle this. That's really cool. I'd never known about the grass cutting trick. Keep confusing the rats. This rat might be able to fight back a little more, but we do have like six levels on it. I feel good about our odds against the rat. There we are. Handle, let's go. When you catch lots of Pokemon, isn't it hard to think up names? In Lavender Town, there's a man who rates Pokemon nicknames. He'll help you rename them, too. Nice. What's up here? I'm looking for Nidorino. Want to trade one for Nidorino? Nope. Aw. Uh -huh. Oh, well. Hi, remember me? I'm Professor Oak's aide. If you caught 30 kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an item finder. So, Dan, have you caught at least 30 kinds of Pokemon? I don't think so. I try lying. Let's see. Uh oh, you have caught only 17 kinds, alas. You need 30 kinds if you want the item finder. Oh, well. Looked into the binoculars. A big Pokemon's asleep on the road. The only way to get from Cerulean City to Lavender is by way of the Rock Tunnel, I see. Oh dear. A sleeping Pokemon blocks the way. Alas. Looks like we are destined for a Diglett tunnel. I could see us maybe wanting... I don't remember how long repels last, but I can see us wanting some repels for the road. Boy, we have a lot of money, though. Get some extras. Thirty steps, that's it? Oh wait, a hundred. Max repels two hundred fifty. Okay. I'm glad it's a hundred. If it was just thirty. Ouch. Okay. The Pokemon Center. And then into the caves we go. That's true, we could also train Venus up a little bit. It's not like Venus is gonna be a huge asset for the last gym we're gonna contend with in this run of blue, but... a little snack in here. Hang on. Real quick. I think I've got some Timbits sitting outside the room. Need snack. Sit tight for a second.
quality streaming snack. Tim bits. Hydrating also a good idea. Thank you for that reminder. <sighs> ah, fruit snacks, also good. Timbits, for those who are not Canadian, are... They're, they're donut holes. The same sort of things you would get for, like, the little donut bites. It's those, but from a place called Tim Hortons, which is Canadian Dunkin' Donuts, basically. They're pretty good. I mean, they're, they're little donut bites. What do you want? What's the tea I drink to lube up, lube up vocal cords? Uh, I'd go with, like, Earl Grey with a lot of honey and lemon in it, which I don't really know for... It's not, like, great maybe for the lubricating, but pretty good for the, like, soothing and, uh, getting a little bit more of, like, a coat going. It's helpful if you've been talking a whole lot and your voice is very tired. <laughs> You've been told by Loading Ready Run that Timmy's used to be real good, but it's kind of mad now. I don't have much frame of reference. Like... I didn't have a whole lot of Tim Horton stuff when I lived in Canada between 2010 and 2013, and I don't know if that was the era where Tim Hortons was good. It is perfectly fine. Like, it, it is Dunkin' Donuts equivalent. <laughs> they got bought out by Burger King a few years back. Oh, interesting. Okay, into the cave. The cave of Diglets. Don't scratch my butterfly, get confused. Go away. Debating whether to repel or to... You know, let's put Venus up front. Level 13 is probably not very smart, but let's... Just for curiosity's sake, see if Venus withstands even a hit or two. Well, a 17 diggle, it's not so bad. Yeah, we could get a quick and easy level or two. Poison is weak to ground and dig. Oh, is Bellsprout poison as well? Hmm. In that case, perhaps not the best choice. This cave can go pretty bad in Gen 3. Oh, I see. Hitting pretty dang hard, though. That's true, two turns for dig. We can always switch it out. This cave also has a chance for a level 31 Doug Trio. Rough. I do kind of feel like using a repel now, though. At least for a bit. You're welcome, Donald. <laughs> Just dropping some bits for one of my favorite dance. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for the bits. And the kind words. Repel only works on lower level Pokemon. Oh, put your highest level up for I see. Okay. I didn't know that. I'm learning. 
might still encounter the level 31 Doug Trio. That is very good to know. I just assumed Repel is just a instant go away enemies button. But okay, yeah, let's uh, put our level 24 up there. Neither of which are our most advantageous, but... Let's make the repel work, at least. Hello. I went to Rock Tunnel, but it's dark and scary. If a Pokemon's flash could light it up. Oh, I didn't realize that was the end of the tunnel. Neat. Could use cut to go over there. But first I want to look over here. And maybe also back here. There's nothing. Over here then. Oh, is this route two? Cool. A fainted Pokemon can't fight, but it can still use moves like cut. Just makes sense. I'm looking for Abra. You want to trade one for Mr. Mime? No. No and no. Venus, if you don't mind. Thank you. I want to ride my bicycle. Once a Pokemon learns Flash, you can get through Rock Tunnel. Hi, remember me? I'm Professor Oak's aide. If you've caught ten kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an HM. So, have you caught at least ten? Great! Congrats! Here you go! There's Flash. Neat. Who should that go on, I wonder? Nice. Boing. All kinds of goodies back here. And a moonstone. Yeah, Watson could learn Flash. Route to Viridian City and Pewter City. Cool. Is neat winding up back here. Uh, let's heal everyone up. Apparently, that Mr. Mime trade is great for breaking fire red. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and use this HM and then uh, put it and cut in storage. Who all can learn? Watson, guess what? Let's see. We don't need Growl. If this run didn't end in Celadon, I would say don't put Flash on a Pokemon you want to keep and use. That makes sense. Yeah, for yellow, let's let's choose a Pokemon to be our like utility HM uh, Pokemon until like end game when I want to replace them with somebody like who I actually want to use. I don't know what Pokemon that'll be. Maybe we'll go with Tradition and stick with Rattata, but uh. I trust y'all can help me make a good choice on that front when the time comes. Let's go ahead and just use this. Why not? There's literally no point in just keeping it in the inventory to not do anything. Uh, Bubs is pretty sturdy. I feel like Grubbles being able to survive longer is going to help more for this next gym.
Deposit. That. And also... That. And also... That. And you guessed it. Okay. Let's do a little bit of shuffling of items here. Having super potions at the bottom is silly. Uh... Bicycle, uh, bicycle could stand to be more conveniently located as well. Super potions can go there. Antidotes can go below them. Honestly, that's fine. Don't need to be too picky about it. Alright, let's explore a little bit. So if we're going to... Here, we'll use my map. I say, my map. Okay, uh... Viridian, Route 1, Palatown. Route 2, Viridian Forest, Diglett's Cave. Pewter City, Cerulean. Vermilion. Rock Tunnel. Okay, so we need to go back up to Cerulean to get into the rock tunnel, I'm guessing. And then Lavender Town, maybe. Celadon's over here, though. Fuchsia. Safari Zone. See you around. Yeah, remember. Yep, we gotta go the long way. So we're going up to Cerulean, and then over eastward. Okay. In that case, we should take the the uh, Diglett Cave back, then bike right up north, because going through Mount Moon sounds like a bad time. We're off? Excuse me. Actually, we're almost off. Let me look over here first, because I'm curious. Oh. That. Okay. We're off! Press A where the tree was for a potion. Oh, I see. Okay. I was going to say. <laughs> I'm glad they presumably stopped doing invisible items that you just got to spam interact to pick up. Because that's not terribly interesting. Hello, are we playing Pokemon wrong today? Not on purpose, but often, probably, yes. Wait, I've been in here. There will, without question, be incorrect Pokemon play. And I am having fun. Even back in Gen 1, still a good old time. Where did I put my repel? There you are. Use. A good point. If you're having fun, you're playing right. Hey, we might have found our 31 Doug Trio. There you are. Hello. Oh, level 29. Still not a pushover. Catch and name them Doug. I might. Spud 2. Sequel to Spud. Ouch. Yeah. 
is confused. That's something. Don't growl at me. Now let's get you napping. Also, so you don't hurt yourself. And get you in a ball. Oh. Pretty feisty for being asleep. I'm probably a little too low level. I do have a great ball. Why not? Welcome to the team, Doug Trio. A team of Diglett triplets. It triggers huge earthquakes by burrowing 60 miles underground. Uncool. What do we call this unwelcome intruder? Tato is an option. Trinidig. Bud the third, hash browns. Crowd. <laughs> Spud three. Idaho's cute. Chat. <laughs> you know, that's fun. Chat is pretty fun. And if we're not going to be naming Pokemon in, like, upcoming games, we won't get as many opportunities to do such things. Chat was transferred to Bill's PC. But fear not, you will enter the lineup. I don't think the Repel wore off. Wait. Repel. Yeah, you guys just sit tight in Bill's PC. We'll get you in the roster. Don't worry, I, I assume it's cozy in there. If nothing else, you have company. A whole lot of other low HP... Potentially... Stunned or sleeping Pokemon. To keep you company. In the PC it does sort of feel like an appropriate place for chat. That is a fair point. And correct, this is not a Nuzlocke, so no weird challenge rules or anything. It's not even going to be a full playthrough. We're going to get beat one more gym and then we're going to uh, call it and then... Uh, next stream, move on to yellow. That one we will finish. Okay. I think... Hmm. Well, there's no point in having both Spud and Chad, is there? Thank you for your service, Spud. You done good. But we require Chad. And don't worry, we got some stream left. We have, actually have to get to Celadon City and then win a gym fight. So we got some time yet. Hey, thanks for the 15 months. Account made for ants. Bill left his credit card details on his PC, the fool. <laughs> yep. 
your credit card details now. How early can you trade Pokemon? You can put all your high-level Pokemon on yellow and uh, just run through the first part of the game so fast. <laughs> Would I be continuing the other yellow playthrough? You know, we'll, we'll just start a, good, a new one. We didn't get that far. And I think I've got slightly different settings with the recording I'm doing now, so... That's true, the Pokémon wouldn't obey unless I had the badges, and I don't know. I'm sure there is some way to do trading between, like, these ROMs, but I'm not familiar with it, and honestly, I, uh, I, I'm not wanting to use nicknamed Pokémon in any of the future Pokémon recordings, so that would also be a slight issue there. We'll be fine. We'll have a Pikachu. They'll protect us. Wait, so this way is not the right way. We need to go... Underground path. There we go. Will chat even listen to me? Who can say? I think they should. I've got three badges, so I think a level 29 Pokemon should listen to me. Oh, and that only, uh, the restriction only applies to traded Pokemon? That makes sense. Now y'all are in a great ball, you have to do it, I say. Okay. Venus, if you don't mind. Thank you. And let's actually get uh, Grubbles back up front. You have Pokemon with you. You're mine. An oddish, is it? Don't paralyze me. Is this the same great ball I found in the trash? It is, isn't it? It's the only one I've got so far. Ha! Y'all are in the trash ball. Confuse the plant! Thank you for confusing the plant. Finally. I don't care how special it is. We are leaving so many confused little shrubs in our wake.
No. Stop it. At least they often miss the second time they attempt it. Thank goodness for that. Whew. Okay. Probably better use a paralyzed heal. If nothing else. Okay. Ooh, there's an item down there. I think I want it. Yes, I do. You. <laughs> Great, I was bored, eh? Ah, we found a Canadian. Be confused. I feel like a low kick shouldn't hit a butterfly. Personally. I mean, it's good it's not very effective. At the very least, but come on. Oh, an onyx? Let's get Bubs out here. Bubs isn't our level front runner anymore and isn't getting enough screen time. Good work, pups. Oh, wait, I'm out of Pokemon. Uh, oh, got several directions here. Route 9 to Cerulean City to Rock Tunnel. Right, okay. Um, well, let's see what's up here. What you got, kid? Ah, yes. This thing. Ooh, you have bite. It is a very baby-looking Growlithe, isn't it? Stop biting. Take a bath. Ah! Hey! Jay Hobbs and friends, welcome! We're about to encounter... And bathe our first Charmander. Hello. Hobbs, what were y'all up to over there? Hope you're having a good day. Welcome, everyone. I'm Dan, if you've not encountered me before. I'm an animator who makes videos about video game animation. And I'm recording footage for maybe someday videos about Pokemon animation. And also just playing Pokemon because I really need to have played more of them. Frankly. <laughs> You're playing some Pokemon Emerald Archipelago Multi-World Randomizer just to maximize the number of qualifiers in that sentence. <laughs> that sounds fun. I would love to reach a point of Pokemon familiarity where I <laughs> would feel equipped to dabble in like mods and randomizers and things of that sort. As it is, I got a long way to go. And before he did that archipelago, he did a Kingdom Hearts 2 rando race. Oh, that also seems fun. I've only watched Dan Jones's uh, runs of that, but that seems like a good time. Any excuse to play more Kingdom Hearts 2, really. The more you randomize, the less knowledge you need. That's... You know, to a point, that's probably true. In some ways, that's probably true. In other ways, I feel like that might not be entirely true. <laughs> I 
Look at that bee drill. Confuse would probably do great. I don't know if we actually have something that would be... Watson would probably be fine. But, uh... It is a pretty good bee drill sprite. I agree. Not all the Pokemon red and blue sprites come out so good as that Beedrill sprite. So some people were playing A Link to the Past while others were playing Kingdom Hearts and some Pokemon, for example. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, that's cool. Archipelago's great. I'm glad it exists. Another Beedrill, you say? You gotta hand it to Bug Catcher. They have committed to the bit. <laughs> well, yes, Bug Catcher, but you do you. If you ever want to give it a shot with Dan Jones and I sometimes, just give one of us a shout. I'd be happy to help you get set up. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, if I, if I do reach that point where I feel equipped and ready, I will let you know. All right, we came all the way up to this grass patch. What do we got in here? I'll give you one chance, patch of grass. Underwhelming, but... I can definitely feed that to Watson. I've done a whole bunch of games I've never or barely speedrun before. <laughs> Do you feel the more games you have speed run without preparation or uh, kind of pre-existing knowledge and understanding, do you feel like cumulatively you've gotten better at onboarding to speed running new games as a result? Or does it feel just as kind of like uh, daunting every time going into a new thing? Does it accumulate <laughs> the speed run skill? I think yes, but not as much as I wish it did. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that seems like a lot of fun, though. Just diving into and kind of getting your feet wet on the experience of running a wide variety of things. Go, my super bug Pokemon! But I can recognize similarities between glitches and skips across different games better, which can help in understanding them. That makes a lot of sense, actually, yeah. Confuse the bug, I guess. I do feel like a proper flying type or fire type would not hurt in our lineup. Or a full-on psychic type as well, just to be weak to nothing. Kind of similar to having dev experience, and that can help you guess why a glitch might happen in a game you didn't work on. Yeah, that, yeah, that makes complete sense, actually. Good comparison, yeah. Internet. Haven't run into one of you yet. Not too bad as a sprite. I feel like they. I feel like Vinternat has gotten cuter in sprite form. This one looks like a little shaggy, like it needs a haircut. <laughs> My bugs. <laughs> there are no good bug or ghost types moves in Gen 1, so Psychic is pretty much invincible. Love abusing those early Gen 1 imbalances. Can't get enough.
All right, bubs, do your thing. I like to think that any time Bubs here is, like, using a water move on a Geodude or something like that, it's like that video of, like, the raccoon who tries to wash its cotton candy in the pond and then just sees it dissolve and is sitting there confused and stunned and doesn't know what happened. It is very, like... <laughs> It's a very simultaneously amusing and sad video to watch. You feel very strongly mixed feelings. <laughs> I like that y'all are getting such good use out of that new shock emote. I had a feeling. Ooh, trying to learn Whirlwind. I don't know if that's good. Grubbles. What even is Whirlwind? All right, Googling Pokemon. Whirlwind. Gen 1. A non-damaging normal move. Uh, if successful, used in a wild Pokemon battle, will the battle will automatically end. In a trainer battle, it has no effect. That seems not great. As a move, not super useful. Uh, it might force, like, an opposing trainer's Pokemon to switch out randomly. Okay. But, even so. Not that exciting. It grovels, I said no. I guess if you just back out it. <laughs> there. Okay. There we go. All right, bubs, you know what to do. Oh, and in Gen 1, it doesn't even have the trainer battle effect. Oh, okay, yeah, so even more not good. And the Geodude is dissolved. Is there a point in Pokemon generation releases where those little quirks... Like, we're running into a lot of little quirk scenarios where... Certain things don't work certain ways because they didn't in Gen 1 and then they did later on. Does that... Like, by the time you get to Gen 2 and 3, does that kind of start leveling off and there's more consistency? Or is there really just pretty frequent changing with... That's a pretty cute Meow Meowth Sprite. I like that one. Or does that, like, uh, kind of keep going? By Gen 3, they seem to have it pretty figured out. Gen 2 is fine. Gen 3 is basically fine. It would make sense that a certain amount of consistency would settle in at a certain point. Gen 3 is when they figured out and keep building off what they made. Okay. The biggest change is when the physical special split happens in Gen 4. Oh. Gen, uh, gold and silver fix so much Gen 1 weirdness that if I were to list it off, I'd likely run into a character limit. <laughs> that makes sense. Like, it makes sense that Gen 1 is like... Gen 1 is an extremely good blueprint to continue building Pokemon games off of. Because the experience, like we were saying earlier, works like gangs busters. Like, the ways in which it is broken and imbalanced or whatever really don't surface until you've already played a lot and you're very familiar with it 
inside and out. So, like, it's an incredibly good blueprint to build a better balanced, more robust follow-up game and then franchise off of. Where am I? Okay, this way. Ah! Hooray! Let's get everyone rested up, and then prepare for a tunnel, I suppose. And eat a Timbit. I do have flesh. I was pretty sure I'd gone ahead and talked that to Watson. Just wanted to double check. Your favorite change is when they removed HM's taking up an attack slot. All the way in sun and moon. Oof. It's a long wait. Yeah, that is well put, Baja Bali. Like, Pokemon's a great entry-level RPG and really good nostalgic game. Like... I think it is still pretty amazing, honestly, that they are so good at creating games that are... so simple and... Here, chat, y'all. We haven't actually used y'all. This is a good matchup. Have fun. <laughs> They're so good at making games that are, like... have a nice, easy, friendly not super demanding surface level that if you are a kid who's not super experienced with games or just someone who doesn't want to have to dig in too deep and just wants to have a fun little ride the game works super well for that but if you want to keep digging under the surface the iceberg can go very deep on how seriously like as seriously as you want to take pokemon pokemon will like enable that and support it that's pretty amazing it's not easy to do. Get him, chat. You got double slapped three times, which... feels impossible, but... Here we are. And you win. Good job, chat. I knew you could do it. Eh, we are about to go into a cave and the Pokemon Center's right here. We should get everyone all healed up before embarking on a trip because I don't remember how large this cave is. Mount Moon was eternal. Diglett Cave was blessedly brief. This one, I do not recall. Dark. I like that the menu is also dimmer, though. That's great. Very cute. Watson, light it up. Thank you. It's about three screens worth? Okay. It's not too bad. That is an acceptable amount of time being lost in a cave. It's 
Not too bad of a Cubone Sprite. Uh, Slowpoke probably not good for... Rebels to be fighting. Watson. And that does a very good Slowpoke Sprite. Hey, Plots. No, but that's the move I was hurting you with. You dare. Have I seen the sprites in Pokemon Red and Green, the Japanese only release? Yeah, that did have like sort of an earlier, rougher versions of a lot of the uh, sprites, yeah? I have seen them, but it's been a while. I don't remember them. Yay, Watson. Do, 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 do. Ladder. Oh, good. More Zubats. Thank goodness. It has been, it's been such a long time since I saw 500 Zubats. And I was starting to miss it. Watson, you probably better go up front. And I might go ahead and use a super potion on you too, just in case some shenanigan pops up. See here, here's something we don't need, but it's at least something new and interesting. Watson, this is not, in fact, a good matchup for you. Um, hmm. Venus, take it away. Not a super pleasant sound. I feel like my defense also falls when Onyx uses that move. This may be too strong. That's definitely going to be too strong. Just want to soften you up a bit. Here, I'll use Wrap on you. Maybe it feels more fun if you're on the other side of it. Not really. Ow. Still not good. Yeah. I'm gonna use Vine Whip. I, it might kill it, and that's fine. If it does, we don't direly need an Onyx. But I also don't want to spend all day failing to catch an Onyx. Okay. Hello. Bring it, Pokemaniac! Ah, perfect. I've come equipped for this. Watson, do your thing. Don't. <laughs> Fine, be that way. Ground is weak to both water and grass, yes? Am I remembering this correctly? Watson is a very good Pikachu name. I... I didn't... I'm not responsible for that one. Chat provided that one, and it's A+. plus. Okay, so... Chat shouldn't go in for this one. Neither should Pebbles. Neither should Bubs. Grubbles isn't going to be able to do nearly as much as I'd like. Watson, you're kind of still our best bet. Ow. It's rather hurt, Slowpoke. It disabled. 
Oh, I disabled Thunder Wave, not Thunder Shock. Really? I thought it disables, like, the last move you used. Well, darn, you're right. That's what I get for assuming, and it's not disabled anymore anyway. Silly me. Okay, so newer gens. Okay, so I wasn't just pulling that out of nowhere. Newer gens disable, disables the last move you used, but in Gen 1 it was rain. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's funny. Playing this one, I am both learning a lot about Pokemon, but I'm also learning a whole lot of bad information that's not going to apply for very long. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of unlearning to do come Pokemon Silver. Or Gold, or whichever one I play. We are already covered for Geodudes, thank you. Let's go ahead and heal up. I would have gone with Silver, but I do have some footage of Silver from Dan Jones already, so I might go with Gold just to have the variety. And then, yeah, Crystal will be immediately after, so we probably won't finish Gold. Go, Grubbles! Don't! Boo! I do not accept this. Fine, you can do that. That I will allow. Will I be having the Game Boy Color colors for Gen 2? Yeah, we might as well. I don't see any reason why not to. The color doesn't really affect the animation almost at all, and it makes it more pleasant to look at. Let, let us leave Pokemon Gray behind. <laughs> oh, a Bulbasaur. Why gray? Ah, oh, just Pokemon red and blue were gray. In their original form. Like, they don't have... I guess I could apply a... Game Boy Color-like palette to this, but... It feels more accurate and true to go with black and white for, uh, this first pair of games. After that, After that, we can have some colors. And that's true, in their original form, they were more of an all of a various shades of green. Yellow, green. I had briefly considered uh, applying some shaders to this to make it look a little bit more like an actual LCD screen and all that, but uh, decided that that was just gonna make, do create weirdness with YouTube compression and people are quite used to seeing this version of, <laughs> like, they're quite used to seeing early Pokemon games look like this, so I figured, let's just keep it simple. Bob's to work. Here's a pretty cute Charmander. As Gen 1 sprites go, Charmander could do a whole lot worse. Cubone. Okay. Grubbles, you again. Barry did a bit where he put on an overlay of glare on a Mario Land playthrough for more authentic experience. Uh, 
That is obnoxious, but funny. <laughs> I like it. Now seems like a great time to take advantage of those hydrate and stretch reminders. Feels nice. Might be time for a rappel in this cave. Like, I wouldn't mind having an onyx, but, um... The rest of these encounters are not... useful. My Pokemon techniques will leave you crying! Much less Canadian than the previous hiker we ran into. Dispose of this, pubs. Thank you. Power washed indeed. <laughs> I give! You're a better technician! No one's ever told me that before, thank you. Oh, we should beat this one too. Hit me with your best shot. I will try. Speaking of Canada, how are you enjoying it these days? Canada's been pretty nice. Every place has their pros and cons, but on the whole, Canada's real solid. I do miss the Seattle friends. It's not like we're that far away from them, but it's definitely much less convenient to get together with the Seattle bunch of friends than it used to be. And that, that I am sad about, but Canada's good. Have I done a hockey yet? I haven't. Bubs is trying to learn bite. Oh, hooray. Go for it, Bubs. Uh. Hmm. Like, t like bite is just a stronger tackle. But on, on occasion, maybe it would be useful having a weaker hit just for capturing things, maybe? Like... I don't know when I'm going to use Tail Whip. I feel like Tail Whip is the one to get rid of, and then Tackle pretty soon after, as soon as another option. Bite can also flinch. Like, I definitely want Bite. We're definitely replacing one of these two. If you have Cut, you'll always have someone with a Tackle. That's a fair point. I hadn't really thought about it that way. Both of these moves are ultimately getting replaced, so. But yeah, I think that does make sense. We're just in Vancouver for the near concert, Jealous of the Sky Train. Yeah, now the, uh, the uh, metro here in Canada, pretty darn good. Certainly better than in any U.S. city I've ever lived in or visited. Certainly isn't going to, like, hold a candle to 
like a like the kind of rail lines coverage you'd find in like Japan or a lot of other uh, countries, but. Public transit in Vancouver is pretty solid. You could do much, much worse. And they are expanding it further too, actively, which is nice. Slowly, but... Watson wants to learn Swift. Do they? We probably do want to... Do we want to learn Swift? Swift. Pokemon Gen 1. Swift inflicts damages and uh, damage and bypasses accuracy checks to always hit. It can hit a Pokemon even during the semi-invulnerable turn of a move like Dig or Fly. In the Western version, anyway. It's pretty good. I would like to make room for Swift. I guess it's worth going ahead and replacing Quick Attack. Because for Watson, Watson's already so fast. That would be my thought, anyway. Thunder Wave could have useful utility. Thunder Shock is our only, like, lightning damaging move until we learn some better one. Yeah, let's do that. Have I tried going to any of the American meetups that some of the animators in Vancouver do on the regular? I haven't. Oh, I didn't know they existed. Perhaps I should, though. I do need to find more excuses to just, like, get out and go do some things. It's always so tempting to spend the time I have making progress on videos and whatnot, but especially now that I've got a bit more time to spare. Should go do things. At least every now and then. Is something happening to give me more time, like for these streams? Yeah, no, I, I'm unfortunately between jobs up here. Which was kind of, like, it. it's not entirely surprising, given how layoffs are happening everywhere. I had already, I'd, like, several layoff waves had already missed me, so... Odds were good that, uh... I was gonna fail one of those <laughs> saving throws at some point. Which is unfortunate, but we'll be fine. <laughs> that explains the portfolio upload. Amusingly, that was kind of more accident. Like, I've had that, uh, to, to explain. The, yesterday, briefly, I had, uh, set one of a video I'd uploaded to my just personal channel years ago, just, uh, my old animation reel from, like, a decade ago, um, to just, like, share with potential employers and stuff like that. I went ahead and set it from unlisted to public, just because I figured it's 10 years old. I don't, there's no reason not to have this public if people want to see it. Not realizing that, wait, I uploaded this as unlisted. It's going to now do the YouTube thing and set it as the public release and put it in people's subscription feeds, which is like, it's not like, there's only so many people subscribed to that old channel anymore, but still it was like, oops, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> so I went ahead and set it to unlisted again, because it, it was fine before. I just kind of arbitrarily decided to set it to public and didn't feel like just set it just confusing a whole bunch of people. <laughs> or confusing more people than I already accidentally had.
Besides, if I had if I had something public, it'd probably be better to have a reel that was actually more recent work. <laughs> anyway, uh, YouTube do be fun that way sometimes. Yeah, I mean, it, it's my own fault. I should have, like, if I'd, I've had many years to grow very familiar with exactly how YouTube handles things. There is no reason I shouldn't have expected it to do exactly that. Really my own fault. <laughs> and it's not a big deal, ultimately. Have I ever thought of doing an indie game? Not really. I don't, like, I'm not the kind of person who actually has a whole lot of game ideas that I'm just itching to make. I tend to be the sort who likes to find a project, find somebody else's game idea that I believe in and think is great and, like, I want to contribute to helping to make that come into being. So I like working on the team, making a thing. And I'd be fine working. Like, I'd be game for working in a more indie setting. Uh, I may be slightly less equipped to do so, though. Like, I I have historically been quite specialized as an animator, which makes me very effective on large teams who need lots of specialists. But, uh... In the indie world, you got fewer people. More people on the team need to wear more hats and have a wider range of skills within game dev. Which I am less strong in. It's not like I couldn't learn it, but I would not be as naturally suited to it up front. Also, since I, like, in order to keep living up here, I need to find an employer who can help provide a Canadian work visa, and a big company is going to be more likely to be able to easily help with that than a team which is really just like a handful of people who happen to live up here. Which doesn't rule it out, but it's just variables to consider, you know? Where am I going? I think this is the way. Outsiders like you need to show me some respect. I'll be the judge of that. Out of curiosity, what kind of animation do I specialize in? I'm working on an ambitious GBA Fire Emblem ROM hack, and they eventually will need a sprite animator. I like. I think it would be very cool doing sprite animation, but I do not have experience with it, nor am I a like experienced 2D animator either. I'm very much a 3D uh, specialist. So while I think it would be neat and fun, uh, that is not a. Whoo, Bubs, you're just like a clutch hero. <laughs> wow. That's twice in this stretch of half of Pokemon Blue that Bubs just withstands. Bubs endures. Let's stop that sound. Be cleansed, Graveler. Way to show him, Bubs. Goodness. Unstoppable. And now Repel has worn off, so let's find the exit. Am I going backwards? No. Good. Hikers leave twigs as trail markers. I wish I could see them. This is the right way? Hooray. That's good. Since your job ended because of layoff, do you get longer grace period on finding another job before the work visa expires? No, like, the way work visas work, like, my visa is technically valid until... For, it's for, like, a couple more years now. Which is great. So, like, we are not in danger of being booted out of Canada right now. Um... Yeah, chat. Get in there. Mix it up. Um... 
Or have a nap, as the case may be. Catch up on rest. So yeah, fortunately we are fine for staying here. Hey, nice! You even woke up quickly. Huzzah! Chat dug a hole. There is something very funny. <laughs> About the name chat. It's really working for us. My work visa, though, does, own, like, the one that I have here, which is still valid for some years, only allows me to work at the employer who I got it with, though. So, in order to legally work for another company up here, I need to find an employer who, will, one, wants to hire me, and two, is willing to sponsor a work visa, which they generally are. They're quite used to doing so. It does also mean that I need to be... Uh, it, like, it means that traveling outside of Canada is something to be a little bit more cautious about. Because there is the possibility that in trying to cro go back into Canada, if the, like, border guards ask if, like, hey, are you still employed with this company that this work visa is with, and you're not, they may decide that that visa is no longer valid, and you'll have to enter on a visitor visa, and that makes things complicated. Which would not be ideal, so. We will be trying to avoid needing to travel outside of Canada until I can find follow-up employment. Or, in the case that I'm not able to find, like, uh, employment up here, start looking around again. Perhaps head back to Seattle. We'll see. It is inconvenient, but nothing that I am too worried about. Uh, actually, troubles. You go ahead. A necromancer druid walks into a bar and talks to the staff. The staff replies, I used to be a tree. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. And also the joke. <laughs> It's a really good Meowth Sprite. I like this Meowth Sprite. Now, thanks for the well wishes, everybody. Like, I I am happy that we are in a position to where, like, this is, though inconvenient, it is not anything that I am super worried about. And it, honestly, it does help having a second, <laughs> usually working two jobs like I do is just kind of exhausting, but it is nice having, like, a secondary income that, uh, helps to make a time between jobs much less worrisome, so. I am grateful for the support that y'all already provide. Don't think Bob's is gonna withstand that self-destruct, but that's fine. Wow. Bubs has learned that move. Bubs does not fear it anymore. <laughs> Bubs is Bubs is tired of your self-destructing nonsense. Bubs ain't scared of you, Geodude. Honestly, I would, like, if it was feasible to do so, I would go, I would probably just go full-time doing YouTube things, like, right now. Because I really enjoy doing it. But, uh, the, like, the same thing that makes it not, like, legal for me to, uh, work for a different employer, uh, up here without having a work visa, also applies to self-employment. So I would need to, like, I, I would need to get a different kind of more like permanent residence visa sorted out up here. And that will take some time. It's what we hope to do, but it is not something that's happening like right now. So if we were to go full time, I would need to, we would need to head back down to the States to do it. And maybe we will, who knows? Like, we're considering all our options at this point. 
But for the time being, my top pick is just looking for additional work up here. That'd be kind of the smoothest, easiest thing. Hey, thanks for the five months, Mahuru. Gotta find a ladder. Found it! You could finish that Principles of Animation playlist in the meantime. Probably won't finish the whole playlist, but, uh... The New Frame Plus patrons did just narrowly vote for that, uh, for the next one of those 12 Principles videos to be the next episode, so that will be... the next one I turn my attention to. Hype train. <laughs> Grubbles, wake up. It's a hype train. <laughs> the Dan Pikachu face is very silly. I enjoy it very much. Grubbles, I said, be awake. You can't sleep through a hype train. That would be silly. <laughs> I guess you can get hugged through a hype train, though. There's no laws against that. <laughs> Y'all are too kind. Thank you very much for the bits. Could I be tempted with transit? Minnesota's getting a rather large bump in its rail budget. Oh, that's cool. Oh, good for Minnesota. I don't know how much animation work there would be for me in Minnesota. <laughs> and I feel like if we were going back to the States, I feel like I would want to... <laughs> I feel like I'd want to live back near the uh, Seattle friends if I could. I do miss those folks. Eh, I probably should change. I don't think... Confusion is going to work wonders here. Eh, it's okay. Okay, Grubbles just wants to nap. Fine, Grubbles. Chat will handle it. For me and my wife, who you and Carrie and your stuff have kept us safe and happy for many years. Oh, thank you very much, Shawnee, for the bits and the kind words. Very glad we could be helpful. And yeah, I like I like Seattle quite a lot. I think like between between the two cities, I think I'll like I like Vancouver slightly more than Seattle, but it's they're both definitely like front runners in terms of places I have lived and visited. So if I'm not living in Vancouver, Seattle, though entirely too expensive, which is not ideal, it is where I would pick to go as a as a uh, fallback plan. Especially, all the more so, because of how many good friends live there. And yeah, the fact that they are nice and close to each other, also very good. Get zapped, bird. Gotta get out of this cave. Pebbles, bite the rat. Don't let this rat be the boss of you. You're amazing at Pokemon. Well, I don't know if that's true yet. But hopefully by the end of playing a dozen or more of these games, I will be on my way to amazing. By that point, I certainly hope so.
At the very least, I should hopefully have internalized the type matchups and weaknesses and learned most of the names. If I got that much, I feel pretty good. If I can do that much, I feel like I, I would accept the Pokemon Master title. Um... Rubbles is sleeping. Okay. Um, none of the rest of these are ideal. Watson can use Swift, though, I guess. It do work. Those eyes, indeed. Yeah, this generation of Bellsprout does kind of have the shock Pikachu face just built in. Pre-installed. And now... The random encounters resume. Geodude, get out of here. Thank you for the three months, Judenbird. <laughs> it's, it is much easier to try to keep up with the folks who are like subscribing and resubscribing if you stream more than once every two or three weeks, it turns out. Because <laughs> then you don't just constantly get a wave of folks who are like resubscribing or updating all at once every single time. <laughs> There's something to streaming. At least kind of frequently. Or at least regularly. Food for thought. Big cave. Big and surprisingly populous cave. More people live in this cave than in any town I've ever visited. Chat, destroy. Beautiful. All right, Grubbles, you gotta wake up, buddy. Eh, Watson, just keep being swift. Afterthoughts has a very good video on Pokemon animation looking weirder as the game's graphics improve. I have not seen this video. My assumption, like, wager, if I had to, like, try to take a stab at what the sort of, like, argument they make is, without seeing it, is that... Sort of that thing where, as the graphics get better and as the Pokémon look more, like, are rendered with more detail and, like, animate, like, actual 3D character objects, the level of abstraction that you kind of have... that you kind of accepted this early on, just seeing two Pokémon standing across from each other using sort of abstract moves, just looks more and more odd, the more sort of three-dimensional and animated the setting. Yeah, that's more or less it. Yeah. Which makes sense. <laughs> Fabian, you good? <laughs> Is the hype train too powerful? Pidgey, you can't... You can't whirlwind me out of a fight. Your trainer attacked me. It's not how this works. Thank you very much for the bits, Nova Dust Grimes. That was like three minutes ago. I just saw it. Thanks, well. Oh, goodness. Thank you very much, Baha Bali, for the five gifted subs. 
Enjoy the emotes, everyone. I think we might have found the exit. Yay! Oh, we're free. Sunshine. I'm feeling a bit faint from this tough hike. Let's fight, I guess. <laughs> oh. The creator of that video is right, though. Like, that is kind of like the tricky challenge that Game Freak has been facing. The more fidelity, the higher fidelity these games go, like, the more and more that abstraction of how battles are presented feels weird and artificial. And there's not really a good way around that without adding more animation and much more complex animation systems, which spirals out of control bonkers fast when you have hundreds and hundreds of Pokemon. Even if you aren't including every single Pokemon in every title, it's still a bonkers, like, character and creature count to support with more complex systems. Now, hold on. Y'all have gotten up to some nonsense while Watson was fainting. Thank you for the bits, Ice. Also, thank you for the five gifted subs. Skin Toss. Very kind of you as well. You've all been very generous and kind. I appreciate it. Also, the structure of Pokemon battles is giving commands, which maybe doesn't lean into other options or battle systems. That is true. There is... There's something about the turn-based... It, it would be hard for Pokemon to leave turn-based stuff behind. Not impossible, but I don't, like... Oh, Pebbles, you're evolving. I don't see any reason why they would need to. Pebbles, grow big. Yeah! We gotta get ourselves to a Pokemon Center. New Sylph Scope. Make the invisible plain to see. At Sylphco. Welcome to Spooky Town, everyone. And thanks for the gifted sub there, Judenbird. Yes, welcome to Halloween in February. Ghosts appeared in Pokemon Tower. I think they're the spirits of Pokemon that the rockets killed. Really establishing the vibe for this place. Do you believe in ghosts? I mean, there are, there's a whole type for them, yes. Really? So there are believers. This town is known as the grave site of Pokemon. Memorial services are held in Pokemon Tower. Real dour place to live. Lavender. That's odd. Mr. Fuji isn't here. Where'd he go? Pokemon Monthly Grand Prize Drawing. <laughs> this place is spooky! <laughs> Thank you, Sonic. You're right. The application form is gone. It's been clipped out. This is really Mr. Fuji's house. He's really kind. He looks after abandoned and orphaned Pokemon. I hate those horrible rockets. That poor Cubone's mother. It was killed trying to escape from Team Rocket. 
And they do go darker here than they do with most Pokemon entries. Hello, hello. I'm the official name rater. Want me to rate the nicknames of your Pokemon? I guess. Which Pokemon should I look at? I'm curious what you think of chat. Chat, is it? That is a decent nickname. But would you like me to give it a nicer name? How about it? No, no, I think I think we chose correctly. Fine, come anytime you like. Appreciate it. Like, come on, Lavender, like at least even Halloween Town, literal Halloween Town tries to has songs that'll try to put a pep in your step. Revives, hooray, we need these. Nah. Don't need that many paralyzed heals, thank you. Too many. This many will do. Actually, I have a gym. Thought it did. This is the road down to somewhere else. North to Lavender, south to other town. No, it doesn't have a gym. Okay. Should we pass on through, or is there there's nothing to do in Lavender till later? Oh, okay, cool. So we should just pass on through. Let me consult my map. Okay. So presumably we now try to go via Route 8 over to Saffron. Or underneath, perhaps, across to Celadon. West, got it. Okay, cool. Huzzah! Let's save now that we are free of caves. And we march! No, we don't. We ride. Yeah. Shake off those Lavender Town bummers with some jaunty biking tunes. What's a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon? Sounds like the setup for a riddle. I'm just waiting to hear the punchline. Chat, I leave this to you. A Vulpix is around here. Or a Growlithe? I'll take it. Either one. Let's find one. We are due for a fire type. Growlithe is in red. Vulpix works for me. I like a good Vulpix. It's wild you gotta wait this long to encounter a fire type. Oh, one that isn't Charmander anyway. I too am enjoying double slap hitting five times. <laughs> Stop. Don't be so mean to my Clefairy. Oh, uh, I was 
Waiting for the punchline to your joke, though. It was your Pokemon who were the joke all along. Thanks for the bits, True on Arm Toaster. Is the rain in Seattle a meme or actually a thing? It is... It is actually a thing, but... Somewhat exaggerated. So, like... A little bit overstated. A lot, like, a large part of the year... Kind of from fall towards spring... It is frequently overcast, and it does rain fairly often, but it's a very, very light like, light rain. It very, very rarely, like, pours down rain. Like, living in Georgia, we got much heavier rain than I've ever seen in Seattle. Like, it wouldn't rain super often, but you just very suddenly, like, clouds would come overhead, and then it would just be like, whoosh! Like, tons of rain, and then in, like, 15 minutes, it's gone. So it's just kind of overcast and dreary and lightly drizzling or sprinkling a lot. Which I think is kind of like, some people very much dislike if they're the sort who prefer sunny days. I enjoy overcast weather. And it kind of depends on the year too. Some years it's like, some years you'll see very light rain in general. Other years, you'll have, like, a month straight where it's just overcast and raining off and on, it seems like. It varies pretty heavily. And also, like, it's not just Seattle. Like, Vancouver, pretty similar. Hey, we could get a Meowth. I don't see why not. Don't scatter my coins. I probably don't need to hit you with a status effect. We've got... Well, let's use the rest of the Pokeballs we have, at least. There we are. We got the Scratch Cat. A door's circular object wanders the streets on a nightly basis to look for dropped loose change. Meowth sounds so much cuter than the anime makes him. <laughs> what do we call Meowth? Diamond or Meowth you, Meow, <laughs> Dog, Lucky, Coin. Cats, mischief. Penny is actually a pretty cute name for a Meowth. Yen is also a good name for a Meowth, but might get confusing. <laughs> Nien also pretty good. Penny's a cute Meowth name, I like it. Fitting for how cute the Meowth sprite is. In this gen, before you've heard how it talks. Here, Vulpix, 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 Vulpix. You are not Vulpix. You are Cranky Bird. There's our Vulpix. A fun fact, Meowth's first English voice actress was a trans woman, Maddie Blastein. She also played Lieutenant Surge. I didn't know that. That rules.
Let's catch us a Vulpix. Yay! At the time of birth, it has just one tail. The tail splits from its tip as it grows older. Sounds painful. Do we want to nickname the Vulpix? Yeah, we do. But what? Tails. Brimstone or Brim. That's also quite good. Uh, Firefox. Kutsune. Also very good. <laughs> Naruto. This is a tough pick. We got actually a lot of very good... Very good contenders on this one. Kurama. Kit. Oh man, that's actually, this is a very tough pick, actually. You know, I like Kit. It's, like, nice and short and cute. This has been a, this is a very tough pick, though. Y'all have came up with a lot of very good ones for this Vulpix. Extremely difficult choice. Let's go add Vulpix to team and figure out... It's probably Pebbles we'll leave behind this time, I think. Because, chat, y'all are covering a lot of the needs that Pebbles can do. Maybe not, like, all, but pretty much most. We still... I would swap out Venus, but we need Venus for cutting things. has the power of chat and anime on his side. <laughs> it is true. Okay. Pebbles, take a breather. Kit. We're gonna need to get you some levels, but we do have some rare candy lying around. Why not? Let's grab that and get you at least bumped up to 20. Accelerate things a tiny bit. No, not Bill's PC. I, like, sat and thought about it for two seconds and still chose the wrong one. Dan's PC. There we go. Let's deposit some of the nonsense I don't want. Like. That. So long, Shawnee. Thanks for joining us. You have a good rest of your day, also. Do -do -do -do. That's... Good enough. Withdraw. There's that candy. Perfect. Okay. Rare candy. Use. Kit. Rare candy. Use. Kit. Level 20. All right. Kid will also only evolve with a Firestone, which, true. And I don't remember getting a Firestone until pretty late-ish. Well, I don't remember where you get a Firestone, but... Even without, I feel like... Oh, his Vulpix's learn set, not great. Doesn't learn Flamethrower until 35. We'll... we'll figure it out. Firestones are available in Celadon. Oh, okay, so if we can get to Celadon, though, maybe we can, like, just buy one. And then bam. Excellent. So at least that. What is the move set on this box right now? Well, it has Ember, so if nothing else, that. And if we can get Vulpix, like, evolved, that might, combined with Grubbles' psychic move, might still see us through. And yeah, if we're not going past Gym 4, then buying the Firestone makes total sense. Let's start making our way to Celadon and... 
Yes, we are absolutely getting kitted out. You are correct. Speaking of which, Kit, you ride shotgun. Get some levels on the way. So, like, so stone Pokemon should be evolved later, like when the starters are hitting their la last evolutions. Yeah, like, so that sounds like, so like in a, if we were going to be playing further on, then yeah, we would definitely not want to be evolving Kit just yet. Just in this particular circumstance. We, in fact, we might just want to grind Kit's levels up a little bit first, even. The Grimer! Kit has quite the do in the back sprite. <laughs> in this gym. That... That is not even remotely Vulpix-like. Where does your huge hair come from? Party in the back, indeed. Looks like Lemmy Koopa, yeah. <laughs> Look at that muck. That's a pretty good sprite for muck. Looks correct. Seems big and intimidating. Ha! I wasn't even going to use that. This trainer is just really into muck and grimer. Good job, Gravels. Grimer is really cute. Yeah, I, I love how just like, hooray, Grimer looks in that sprite art. High quality. Why aren't we on a bicycle? What's wrong with us? What's wrong with us is that we're not on a bicycle. That's a lot of trainers. Really threaded the needle there. School's fun, but so are Pokemon. Boy, that's just... That could be the tagline for the 90s, huh? A lot of poison out here. Oh no, smog. Keep forgetting how effective poison is against our butterfly. What else is good against poison? Psychic moves, obviously. Ground is? Oh! Oh, goodness. What am I doing? Chat could have been rocking this nonsense the whole time. Silly me. Watson, get the bird. quite looking forward to the fun power trip you get to go on in uh, <laughs> in Pokemon Yellow, where you can have Pikachu and all of the Gen 1 starters in one crew. It feels unfair because it is 
But what a wonderful power trip. You can also burn birds. Oh, goodness. Didn't know they were weak to fire as well. See, this, this is the sort of stuff that I got to be picking up. As we work on these games. All right, so chat should be good against this. Okay, so fire is not super effective on flying. Okay. Dig. Beautiful. In fairness, student bird, in real life, birds are quite weak to fire. I guess most things are. kind of an OP type in reality. Patch, please. Dang. Y'all are wrecking this stuff out here. Your quick attacks will not save you, Pikachu. All right, this row, you're next. Meowth is so cute. Meow, meow, meow. It would be super funny if this trainer just, like, came out with, it's like, anyway, here's coughing. <laughs> <laughs> the Meowth thought was irrelevant to my lineup. Surprise. I mean, she's not wrong, though. What a cute sprite Meowth has in Gen 1. It's a cute little kitty, and it likes to go get coins. And you have no reason to believe that it would have, like, a Brooklyn accent. I hope you are having a good day as well. Glad you were able to catch the stream, and hopefully for the next little while at least it'll be easier to do so. Because I do aim to be streaming more regularly for a little while. Since I got more time right now, I will be streaming Thursdays most of the day, and Tuesdays starting a bit later, like 3 p.m. Pacific. And just try to keep that up regularly for a bit. Are we catching them all? Not as much as you would think. But that's okay. We're, we're only going to be playing Pokemon Blue here for a little bit longer. Just long enough to beat one more gym, and then I think next stream we will start Pokemon Yellow and plan on actually playing that one all the way through. Because then we can have color. And a frankly illegal number of starters. More power than any 10 year old Poké Trainer should have. I like Nidoran, so I collect them. Checks out. Makes sense.
And it is very cute. Like, Gen 1 Nidoran is just very potato. Just a little loaf. It is very like a guinea pig, actually, yeah. Like, Nidoran doesn't usually look like a guinea pig, but this is an extremely guinea pig Nidoran. <laughs> I like it. Just a little nugget. And then in Nidorina form, just much more kind of straight-up pig-like. More of a snout. And now Chad is level 30. Quite the milestone. Eh, not that way. Now that's going to take us somewhere else. All right, let's roll the dice. Oh, okay. Cute. Hm, I'm going to need to get a water refill in here pretty soon. Okay. Watson, this one's for you. At least this one's not trying to put me to sleep. More polywags, okay. Get thunder shook and get out of here. Keep them coming. <laughs> that Poliwhirl wants to scrap. That is an extremely, like, what you looking at, Poliwhirl. You've got a problem? Good at Pokemon, but how's your chem? What? I don't understand, Super Nerd. Don't do that, it's annoying. Because it works. Chem, short for chemistry? I assume it must be. It still seems like a irrelevant question. Hey, good for you, kid, learning roar. So glad I've been reminded of the ground strong versus poison types, or super effective against poison types, rather. There are a lot of poison types in Gen 1. Now that you mention it,
Yeah, y'all are just taking care of business this time. Knocking them down like bowling pins. Ow! Meltdown! We win. Now what is this? The department store in Celadon has a great selection. Neat. Um, where am I? Underground path to Celadon City from Lavender Town. Heck yes, that's what I need. I don't suppose there's a Pokemon Center or something. No? Okay. Bike ride! And A spam, though I don't know if it works if you're on a bike. When you're on a bike, like, who cares? I heard a sleepy Pokemon appeared near Celadon City. Yay, this! Okay. Let's have a look around this town. Hello. Keep out of Team Rocket's way. Okay. This is my trusted pal, Polyrath. It evolved from Polywhirl when I used Waterstone. The Celadon Mansion. Hello. My dear Pokemon, keep me company. Meowth even brings money home. Quite the place. Around the back side of the place if you're here for the Eevee. Oh, there's an Eevee. I'd forgotten. I'm the graphic artist. I drew you. Oh, hey, it's a dev room. Is that right? I'm the game designer. Filling up your Pokedex is tough, but don't quit. When you finish, come tell me. This is very cute. More games should keep doing this. Me? I'm the programmer. I wrote the story. Isn't Erica cute? I like Misty a lot, too. Oh, and Sabrina. I like her. <laughs> Extremely cute. I like it. Can't get in there. But yes, there is clearly a rear entrance to the building, so... If we were to... Perhaps... Oh. Um, maybe from further around. Ah, the Mega Mart. Yes. Here, we'll go around first before I... Oh. Um. Maybe I have to go around the other way. Aha! Yes. And... It's a pamphlet on TMs. There are 50 TMs in all. There are also five HMs that can be used repeatedly. Silphco. I know everything about the world of Pokemon in your Game Boy. Get together with your friends and trade Pokemon. We got an Eevee. Might as well nickname it. Hmm. V, 
Not bad. Fox. Devo. Umu. Vendetta. Eevee for Vendetta. I get it. It's pretty good. Freevee. Freevee is also pretty good. Fitting. <laughs> I like Freevee. Race car for the palindrome. Also quite good. Yeah, it's hard to hard to top Freevee. There's no room for more Pokemon. Freevee was sent to Pokemon Box 1 on the PC. Hooray. Now let's go to the Mega Mart. We need to buy a Firestone. I do really remember enjoying coming to this town and seeing like, whoa, the shop here is huge. They got so much stuff. The board on the right describes the store layout. First floor, service, uh, service counter. Second floor, trainer's market. Third floor, TV game shop. Fourth, wise man gifts. Fifth, drugstore. Vending machines on the roof. That was a little bit less clear than I'd have hoped. That's true. So, if we evolved Eevee into a Flareon... I don't know how fast they'd have fire moves. That would be a good shortcut to having another fire Pokemon, but... For long outings, you should buy Revive. True. Also, I don't know what level the Eevee is, so... It may not be any easier to level up than, uh... <laughs> Our good Vulpix kit here. They do sell the Fire Blast TM here. That could work. Oh! Neat. I guess that would work on Kit as well. I think the Eevee's level 20, so it seems kind of like either or then. We got TMs. I should, um... If I just click on this one, will it tell me what it is? No. <laughs> Maybe I should look this up. Pokemon Gen 1 TMs. Okay. TM32 is double team. TM33 is reflect. TM2 is, well, these are just in random order. Razor Wind. Seven is horn drill. 37 is, uh, burp, burp, burp. egg bomb. One is mega punch. Five is mega kick. Nine, takedown. 17 is Submission. None of those are the one I want, but thank you. Oh, and these aren't TMs. But, um... Still good, I guess. Calm down, laptop. The laptop fan just suddenly started going wild after pulling up Bulbapedia. <laughs> yeah, let's just go up the stairs. Oh, hi! I finally finished Pokemon. Not done yet? This might be useful. Oh, thank you. I just closed the tab. Friend, but thank you. Captured Pokemon are registered with an ID number and OT, the name of the original trainer that caught it. 
It's a very cute little floor. Might be worth investing in an ad blocker. I have got an ad blocker going, although maybe the uh, extension's not active on this laptop right now. I think it might not be. Yeah, now I should check on that. That's probably what's gonna make the difference. I'm getting a Poké doll for my girlfriend. Hi there, may I help you? What do you have? Firestone, yes, please, thank you. Very good. I guess we could also go ahead and bump up, um... Watson. I heard something useful. You can run from wild Pokemon by distracting them with a Poke Doll. Yeah, we might as well get the Raichu now, right? <laughs> Pokemon ability enhancers can be bought only here. Use calcium to increase special abilities. Carbos to increase speed. HP up, protein, iron carbon, blah, blah, blah. Nope, good. Thank you. Nope, 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 nope. I'm good, thank you. You went to a pub and came home and I'm still going? It's true. Still need one more gym badge here. My sister's a trainer, believe it or not. But she's so immature, she drives me nuts. Okay. I'm... I'm looking for... stuff. I, I'm in a shop. I'm thirsty. I want something to drink. A vending machine. Cute. Yeah, we have been streaming for a good long while. But I don't think we'll be tons longer. Hydration reminder, that is good. I did need to go refill the water cup real quick. So yeah, here, I'll do a quick uh, little, like, bathroom and water refill break. Everyone get a quick snack or something. We'll do tunes, I'll run an ad real quick, and then we'll come back and we'll prepare ourselves for the final gym challenge. So all of you just hang tight, enjoy the chill screen and tunes, and I'll BRB.
Okay, I return. Got myself water, but also had to get snacks for the cat. Gwenny wanted kibble. But okay. I'm returned and ready. Hey, thank you for the three months, crustacean. I appreciate it very much. I appreciate all of you a great deal. Name a Krabby after you again. <laughs> we did name a Krabby after you, didn't we? It was like, it's hard to think of a better, more footing Pokemon. I guess there's a few others that could work, but you know. So, okay. Vulpix Gen 1. I'm just Googling real fast. Yeah, I wouldn't pick up Flamethrower until level 35. And... on. Nine tails. Wouldn't pick it up at all. Wow. That can't be right. No, that is right. Yeah, no, you only learn those moves from Vulpix. Yeah, Stone Evos don't learn anything past while once they've evolved. Wow, that's brutal. We may we'll sit we'll keep the uh We will keep these stones in our pocket then. Or in our in like our storage. And we will see how we do in the gym without them. Thanks for the stretch reminder, by the way. We'll see how we do without them. And if things get really dire and we just need the stat boost to eke us over the finish line, so be it. I got my coughing in Cinnabar. It's nice, but it breathes poison when it's angry. Slightly less nice. The game corner is bad for our city's image. Oh, come on. I blew it all at the slots. I knew I should have cashed in my coins for prizes. Fire Blast is the only TM and it's in the 7 gym. Dang. Yeah, there's no, like... I didn't see any fire TMs in that list in the mall. Rocket Game Corner. The play. Oh, this is the Game Corner. I thought we were talking about the little gamer floor in the, in the uh, mall back there. Playground for grown-ups. Coins exchange for prizes. Prize exchange. Might as well get footage of the place while we're here. I sure do fancy that Porygon, but it's hard to win at slots. I had a major hole today. A coin case is required. Games are scary, it's so easy to get hooked. Welcome to Rocket Game Corner. Do you need some game coins? It's a thousand for fifty coins, would you like? Sure. You don't have a coin case. I keep, yeah, everyone keeps telling me that. Welcome, you can exchange your coins for fabulous prizes next door. Not without a coin case, I bet. Could someone, hello? 
I'm guarding this poster. Go away or else. Okay. Oh. But. Oh. Um. Okay. Pubs. Soak the rat, please. Very good. And you're done, maybe. Ah. Don't confuse Watson. Watson's trying their best. Dang. <laughs> Our hideout might be discovered. I better tell boss. Not very good stooges, are they? Hey! A switch behind the poster! Let's push it. Nice. Not going that way, though. a huge town. Which I like. I like how different some of these towns feel from each other. What are you staring at? Hi! We're taking a break now. Okay. Um. Munch. The man at the table lost it all at the slots. There's a basement under the game corner. I know. I beat up the bouncer. Go ahead. Laugh. I'm flat out busted. No more slots for me. I'm going straight. Here, I won't be needing this anymore. I don't know if your first move as one of the straights is handing a ten-year-old gambling paraphernalia, but you're learning, I guess. The Pokemon are... My Pokemon are weak, so I often have to go to the drugstore. Don't touch the poster at the game corner. There's no secret switch behind it. This is, this is all very cute. Chief! We just shipped 2,000 Pokemon as slot prizes! Goodness. <laughs> the slots just reel in the dough, big time. This town has a lot going on, I like it. I'm on vacation with my brother and boyfriend. Celadon, such a pretty city. Pokemon? No, this is a hotel for people. We're full up. Why did you bring your brother? <laughs> it's pretty good. Very re neat hidden bug here. Go all the way to the right and hit A one space down from the counter. Not what I would have guessed. I didn't know what to expect, but that's really funny. <laughs> I love little glitches and bugs like that, especially in old games. Back in the days when they couldn't really patch that stuff out. How do we get down here? a bicycle, that's how. Um, maybe. 
A bicycle and also a... Venus. Thank you. Guess we could have just hopped down here. No, no, we couldn't have. <laughs> this gym's great. It's full of women. Okay. Uh, I guess that does sound nice. I'll save. And then hope that my poor little 21 Vulpix... ...can withstand anything. I like that you, like... They're doing their best to decorate these gyms a little bit differently, even this early on. The Cerulean Gym is basically a swimming pool. And there's little bushes and dancing plants inside here. I like it. It's good. Well, let's see how this goes. This is our opportunity to get some... ...levels for Kit. Hey, you're not allowed in here! How did... I don't know of any other way to get... ...the gym badge, ma'am. Be on fire. No. Stop. Thank you. Very good, Kit. Keep it going best you can. <laughs> That's a fun sprite. Boy. Kit is not easily affected by these spores. Oh, but Kit is sleepy. And I don't have an Awaken anymore, so nap time, I guess. Hey, Dan, love your videos. First time catching your stream. Hey, welcome, Drusern. Glad you could make it. We're asleep and getting hugged by a plant, but we're awake now, so it's good. Still hugged, though. Be on fire. There we go. But yeah, welcome. Glad you can make it to the stream. Hopefully it's going to be a little easier to catch me streaming in the coming weeks. Level 22, we're getting there. You're too rough. I, I need the badge, though. I was getting bored. Well, I'm here to entertain. Beauty wants to fight. Also a fun sprite. Definitely need some kind of Dan Jinx emote. Yeah, maybe we do need something that's more specific to jinxing. Because, like, Dan Shock is definitely fitting for the reaction after having jinxed myself, but we need something that y'all can use for when I have said something that's probably going to jinx it. So you can sort of predict the issue. <laughs> Wake up, Kit. Do I take emote suggestions? Absolutely. I've got like a lot of, like, I've got plenty of slots for emotes still that I have not used yet. I just need to have ideas for them and then send them Dan Jones' way for whenever he's got capacity. Smug carry face. That could be good. There we go. Yeah, Dan Jones' emotes have been extremely good. 
a lot of the emotes we have here are inspired, at least, by a lot of the emotes in the sort of play friends, uh, sort of like unofficial play frame Discord. But even the ones that were taking inspiration from those, like Dan oftentimes found some pretty, uh, like, did some kind of, like, new twists on them. They really look great. Just keep casting fire, kit. It's never going to stop working, slowly. Dan really does have a lot of phenomenal emotes over on his own channel. <laughs> Dino Carry would also be a pretty good one. That's really cute, too. Sorry, I'm just looking at all the <laughs> VOD viewers. You are not seeing it. I'm just looking at all the good Dan Jones emotes in chat, which you can go see right now over at twitch.tv slash because I'm Dan Jones if you want. Nothing stopping you. He's real good at it. I mean, we're kind of cleaning house in here, like, in part because none of these trainers are throwing anything too high level or scary at us, but even with just a level 22 kit throwing embers out there, we're hanging in. I do kind of expect the gym leader is going to have something bigger and a little nastier, though, which might put a stop to my slow fire chip damage. I found just sending artists a single sentence prompt for commissions often yields funnier and better results. You know, it's not a bad idea. Maybe, uh, maybe I don't have to solve, like, what the emote should be or look like in many of these cases. What Dan comes up with. <laughs> as long as he knows what the kind of idea is we're aiming for, he'll probably come up with something even better than I would. Okay, we're super poisoned and could stand to get uh, our little Firefox all healed up for the big fight. Back on the bike. Can't believe the cut plants don't stay cut. Forgot all about that. Doop -doop -doop -doop. There we go. It is also nice knowing that, like, starting this early on in Pokemon, the further we go, just the more quality of life improvements are going to come every single time we jump forward into new games. It's just going to be smoother and smoother sailing each time. Like, after all these hours of black and white, even just adding color in Pokemon Yellow is going to feel revelatory. Saving cut plants would add entire bites to your save file. True. And there weren't a whole lot of those... ...on the little Game Boy brick.
Okay. Moment of truth. Wait, there's more trainers in here. Good, more training. Look at my grass Pokemon. They're so easy to raise. And flammable. Growing up, the quality of life improvement I enjoyed most was the prompt to use the HM so you didn't have to open the menu every time. That sounds great. When does that show up? I'm gonna guess... Gen 3. Beauty Spray really is great. Gen 2? That early? Heck yeah. Good on you, Game Freak, 20 years ago. Or more. Probably closer to 30 at this point. But good on you way back then. And retroactively thanks in advance. Can't wait. Kit, please continue setting the plants on fire. Yeah, Kit definitely went to the Bowie school of some very 80s to early 90s school of hairstyling. I certainly didn't teach them this. It sort of came pre-installed. Not sure how comfortable I am with my Vulpix having like a better sense of fashion than me. Oh, right, you're poisoned. Can't have that. Probably better make use of a potion as well. <laughs> Easy to raise and easier to raise. That's a very good joke. I approve. Aren't you the peeping Tom? No, I'm here to... You run a gym! Can we all please try to be professional about this? I'm a young Pokemon trainer. I want to be the very best. If you don't want kids coming in here, you should take down the sign outside that says Jim. and replace it with no boys allowed or something. Whatever misunderstanding is happening here, I feel like it is on you folks and your bad signage. That sounds like something the anime would do. <laughs> Level 24. Kit, I think you're going to actually pull this off. I'm in shock. Are those also trainers in there? Probably, huh? I guess it's true, there is the creepy guy outside. Still, though. Sorry about your plants. It was in the way. Don't bring any bugs or fire Pokemon in here. Bad news. 
I may have brought a bug and a fire Pokemon in here. Imagine if I had a fire bug, though. I would be, like, quadruple in trouble. I forgot just how many trainers there are in here. I'm honestly very grateful. I was worried about Kit's ability to handle business in here, and I'm feeling more and more confident the more levels I can get. <laughs> oh, a gloom. Sure. Sent to Scorch would rock this gem? Yeah, I suspect so. Volcarona? There's so many Pokemon I don't know. It's gonna be fun to meet them. Poor Gloom. It's been a hard life being Gloom from day one. Haha! -ha! Oh boy, I bet this gym was a breeze with Charizard. Oh, you! <laughs> yeah. Guilty. I am me. Welcome to Celadon Gym. I don't feel welcome. You better not underestimate girl power. I'm not, it's just... Please communicate with the people in the front of the gym. I'm getting... Very conflicted messaging. Boy, you do have style, though. Cool trainer. My compliments. I have been at this for like seven hours, haven't I? Almost. It's okay, we're on the home stretch. Just gotta beat this dang gym. And I probably will be streaming a lot on Thursdays. A lot of the time. Okay, yes, Weeping Bell, we know. You're surprisingly good at hugs for a plant. I see. Kid has gained like three levels in here already. And that's gonna make a big old difference. I know there's one more trainer before the gym leader that I think will run out to the Poké Center after this one. We're almost out of Ember uses, and as soon as that dries up, we will be much less effective. That's a good Iv Ivysaur sprite. I agree. Oh, beaten. Yay, okay. Let's go heal up and prepare for the final push. Into this extremely unwelcoming garden. There we go. Doo, 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 doo. Such peppy bicycling music. Okay. Might also be worth stopping in the store to grab a few more antidotes just to prevent future irritation. <laughs> Not that poison's gonna be a huge threat, just, you know. If 
few more of these. Very good. Possibly a few of those. Okay. The time has come. A Pokemon game with a high fidelity 2D aesthetic? That could be a lot of fun. Honestly, like, I don't see why they would, but it would be, it would be cool seeing Pokemon, uh, like, Pokemon Company, uh, get some indie crew to, like, go wild on a pixel art and pixel animation Pokemon again. Just because, like, what they could do scope-wise, and even just fidelity-wise at this point, would be pretty darn impressive. I don't see why they would, but it would be pretty cool to see a modern-day official pixel art Pokemon-type game. Just for novelty, I suppose. Okay. You. Pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokemon training. Mine too. You're... Disarmingly normal. Unlike your Pokemon. Your Pokemon is, like, egg hooligans. But you seem normal. I win. Level 26. We got this kid. Oh, splendid. Thank you. All right. Moment of truth. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh, dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I am the leader of Celadon Gym. I teach the art of flower arranging. My Pokémon are of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry, I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Erica, also a good sprite. Level 29, though. Sure hope that ember move does work. Slowly, but surely. And a burn, so hey. That's something. Guess we'll just do a plant hug for a little while. And be hurt by poison and burns. Okay, still doing... All right, this again. Oh, you know those people who just hug for way too long? Gen 1's full of them. Hey, can I use a move? Okay. Maybe I better go ahead and, uh, just for safety. Because eventually I might be able to use a move again. And when that day comes, oh, you better look out, Victor Bell. It's got to miss at some point, right? 
if nothing else, it'll slowly burn to death, but like, that's a ridiculous way to have to win this fight. And I guess it'll run out of PP eventually, too. Bonkers. We're having an extremely Gen 1 time in here. In Celadon today. <laughs> Gen 1 does not track in PC PP, of course it doesn't. <laughs> At least we set it on fire in turn one. Imagine if we hadn't. We can ride it out. Are you kidding? <laughs> I guess I've been doing it too. I can't get too cranky about it, but still. <laughs> this is silly. <laughs> See, in on play frame, this is this is where a little chicka chicka skip would be happening. <laughs> You don't know any other moves, huh? <laughs> I'm so glad that burn status kicked in early. We have just, like, status effect chip damaged our way through two health bars on this darn thing. Oh, it missed finally. Amazing. Whew. <laughs> One down. To be fair, a very difficult Pokemon to try to convey it at this resolution. Um, Tangela does look very, very silly in this time, though. Yeah, this is this is just a spaghetti ball, just a pile of spaghetti that grew eyes and feet and wandered its way over from the Italian restaurant into the grass gym. In fairness, it looks just as confused about being here as the rest of us. I better use an antidote as well. There's no reason to keep on taking this poison shift damage. On top of the wrap move. I mean, I'm just sitting here waiting for a turn either way, so... Uh-huh. Yay! Fire! And burned, okay, all right, we've at least got... We've at least got the wind locked in if we get stuck in the... Hugging forever cycle. Whew, okay. Yay! Go, kit. 
And there you can do it. Now look at that chipper little vile bloom. Ow, probably. Enough for not very effective. That do sting. Yeah. Good thing we bought super potions, huh? Kids really rocking this. We didn't even didn't even evolve our little Vulpix. And they're still scraping by. Yeah! Vulpix win! Sweep! Heck yeah! Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. I must confer you the rainbow badge. Thank you. The rainbow badge will make Pokemon up to level 50 obey. It also allows Pokemon to use strength in and out of battle. Please also take this. Mega Drain. Half the damage it inflicts is drained to heal your Pokemon. Hooray! We did it. Oh, boy. We got it! Pokemon Blue effectively complete as far as we're concerned. Yeah, I feel like we've got ample enough footage to work with. Lots of variety. Seems unlikely I would need late game Pokemon Blue stuff when Pokemon Yellow's right there. And if I do, there's nothing saying I can't go back into this save and record further, but... We do definitely have a lot of footage of the rap move. <laughs> More than I could ever need, it's true. Ooh, baby. Get a well-earned heal, Kit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. We'll save and then evolve Kitten Watson as well, just to get footage of it. Don't even have to save after. Just to see it. It's a great idea. In celebration of your victories, Kit, we will make you unusable. Of course, our luckiest little buddy, Watson. Small chunk become large chunk. Yeah. Delightful. So round. We did it! We got through all of Pokemon Blue we need. Hooray! Thank you all for joining me for that, and also for helping all the advice and guidance along the way. I appreciate it very much. And I've been having a good time with this, too. I'm excited to get to Yellow next week. Let's, uh... Hang on here. Shift over a bit. Roll some credits and such. Yeah, thank you all so much for joining me. This was very fun. I had a great time.
a fine start due to our... <laughs> fine start to our long Pokemon journey we're embarking on here. It's gonna be a great old time. Thank you very much to everybody who subscribed and resubscribed, everyone who threw in some bits, kept those hype trains going, especially the folks gifting subs. Thank you very much to J Hops for that uh, raid and for chatting randomizers and speed runs and such for a bit. That was very fun. I'm going to be heading out after this to start going over some edits for next week's Playframe stuff. But I will be streaming again on Tuesday. Uh, well, I'll be technically streaming, I guess, on Sunday afternoon, but that's just for patrons, uh, like $5 and up patrons. It's for our monthly thing. Uh, and then on Tuesday at probably 3-ish p.m. Pacific, we will kick off Pokemon Yellow. And for anybody who's wanting to watch these afterward, the VODs, we have our VODs channel where all these will be going. So you can catch them all later if you want. It's nice. It's nice being back to streaming more regularly again. I missed it. It's a good time. And it's a good excuse to, like, start, uh, <laughs> actually get some initiative going on, uh, like getting new emotes and stuff added and everything. Uh, if you want to link to the VOD channel, I think there is one on the channel page right below. Or that right there. I sometimes forget <laughs> those little, uh, Moobot shortcuts are a thing. <laughs> Ah, what a great time. But yeah, let's prep for a raid here. Hmm. Oh, a lot of people streaming right now. Is this what it's like when you actually stream during daytime hours? Hmm, <laughs> tough choices, tough choices. Real tough. I don't feel like we have... I don't feel like we have raided Nicole in a good while. And Nicole's playing a lethal company. So let us initiate the raid. Let's go hang with Nicole for a little bit. And her lovely soothing voice. Might be less soothing in lethal company come to think of it, but it's fine. Nicole is a good egg. All right. We are ready to raid. I'll see y'all on Tuesday. And also over on Nicole's stream. Farewell!